for the Chicago Bulls. In fact, Butler is uh, expected to miss a couple of weeks. He was injured early in last night's loss to the Philadelphia 76ers. Zach Collins had an MRI today. The Spurs center tore his labrum on his right shoulder. He's expected to be ready, though, for the regular season. And the NBA has only its second woman referee for the playoffs. Joe Reinagel. That's the third time in seven seasons. The San Antonio Spurs are the NBA champions. Jason Minix. They go back to big day as Super Bowl champions. Dallas 52, Buffalo 17. It's the Blitz on 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94-1 at San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Reinagel. I'm Jay Semenix. Howdy. Live today on this Thursday at a taste of the north side as they're getting everything set up here at the Security Service Event Center off I-10 near 1604. I'll tell you what, it's like a bunch of ants running around here trying to get all these booths up and, and everything's situated and, and sketchy. You come in here, everybody's working hard. Uh, except for us. Well, uh, we're sitting fight there enjoying, your tongue. We're working the, uh, our ass off. The sunshine. And I, well, yeah. the cloud cover, whatever it is. Well, well the that, outdoors. See, and that's what's perfect is we're watching everybody work while we are working. This is our job because uh-huh, uh-huh. there is so much going on here. If you're standing around, they're going to put you to work. Probably. Hey, no, man, I'm not. Did you see those two ladies over there? They were about to come ask us yes. to do something. And then the show started. And they left. Yes. Wow. Yes. yes. Hey, they right on time. They might have wanted us to carry something. Oh, my gosh. Probably heavy, too. Uh, and, you know, you're right. Heavy lifting. I mean, no. Yo, Joe actually does have in his contract. You know, most of you, you sign up to work and, you know, it's like 50 pounds or 100 pounds. Joe's got a five pound limit. I mean, he'll carry a laptop. And, and maybe a portable camera. Sometimes it won't work, though, like today. If you're looking for us on the YouTubes, we're, we're not there. Yeah, apparently not, right? So well, uh, the YouTube channel is working. Pledge is, is feeding it. Um, but uh, in all, uh, you know, we always try to be behind the scenes and, and behind the curtain and all that kind of whatever you want to call it. Um, our Wi-Fi is uh, having all kinds of issues out here. And so with that, um, well, we're screwed. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, you don't get to see our beautiful smiling faces today. Yes, um, it, it's it's one of those one of those uh, it, it's one of those days, man. You know, technology is wonderful until it doesn't work. Exactly. And and so with that, you know, the way we use our cameras for the YouTube channel, um, um, hopefully the uh, the radio signal holds true. Uh, but you might hear it dip <laughs> in and dip out. You know, I mean, it, it's live radio. It, it it happens. I mean, you know, we're not going to be all CBS and cut away at the end of a Billy Joel concert just to go to news on a certain time. That was a human error. That was a just colossal bad decision. But sometimes technical stuff happens. And, uh, you know, we've got Greg Shelton sitting, arms crossed, staring at a machine. And if it goes out, he will continue to stare at it until it scares it back on. Um, Dude, I got to disagree with you about the CBS thing. I think that was planned the whole time. They had no programming for when is it? Tomorrow, uh, Friday. Friday. Yeah, that'd be tomorrow. They had no programming. Uh They said, we're going to screw this up. Piss everybody off. And you know what? We'll just replay it on Friday night and say we have to, and we're sorry. Do you really think somebody was that smart? Yes. Yes. Let's get all kinds of (laughs) – actually, you know, somebody probably should get fired and a raise at the same time because you're right. They had more publicity at that concert after it screwed up at the end than before. Yes. Raise your – knew that that concert was going to be on cbs the other night i didn't know yeah so when you when you look at that and think about it yeah maybe it was a plan let's have a colossal failure get all kinds of pub and then show it again and we'll charge more on a friday night now raise your hand if you were actually upset by that uh you were well i wasn't watching but i would have been well no i mean it, nobody cares Right. Well, so no, no, a, no, no, a few people call in. No, no. Thousands of people care. Oh, thousands. Thou- okay. Hundreds yeah. of thousands. Uh, hundreds Every of thousands. CBS affiliate across America 
was getting nasty phone calls. How many times have you heard Piano Man in your life? Uh, I don't know, a thousand, ten thousand. Does it matter? It does matter. It does not matter. It, it's ridiculous. I, it, you it, know, the it, things that people get upset about these days, it really un, unreal. I, to no, me. see, I, I, I agree with that. But this was legit. It doesn't matter how many times you have seen uh, a band play live. It doesn't matter how many times you have heard that song. But if I've invested any amount of time in watching that program, I want to see the ending. I don't care what program it is. In this case, it's the Piano Man and it's Billy Joel. But if I'm watching NCIS and you get to that final segment and you know they're about to solve the crime because they always solve the crime, uh, but you haven't figured out who done it yet, and and they cut away to go to the news. You don't see the ending. You're mad. Well, at, at that, that's a whole. That's apples and oranges. No, it's not apples Same and thing. oranges. No. I know how the piano man ends. No, well, I know how that ends. See, there, but, there's but, no, there's no but, uh, but, mystery there. But what you don't know, particular live show, the 100th uh, show at Madison Square Garden, where he had <laughs> other special guests come out. Uh huh. During Piano Man, was there going to be a special guest come out? Right. I, I mean, you don't know. You know, I was at a Foo Fighter show and Dave Chappelle showed up. I didn't know Chappelle was going to show up. Uh, no idea. You know, you don't know who's going to show up. That was a special. It was on CBS. Somebody could have been coming out. But no, you know, they wanted to tell us it's going to be hot outside with a little weather report. Nobody was coming out. It, there was a minute left in the broadcast. That's all right. It was the piano man. It, it was nobody the, gives a damn. Uh, yeah. But if it makes you feel better, I'm sure you you got a big party plan for tomorrow to watch Billy Joel on CBS. No. See, you don't give a damn. Well, why do you hate Billy Joel, Minix? I literally saw Billy Joel and Stevie Nicks a couple of weeks ago in Dallas, and, and you heard the piano. And- there man. you go. I'm good. Billy Joel and Sting will be in the Alamo Dome in October. You're probably going to that. No, it's on a Friday night during football season. So I'll be, I'll, I'll be at Kamalander Stadium probably. But I, I, I look at it and I sit there and I say, all right, what are we doing? Um, you know, tomorrow, well, tomorrow night I'll be in Florida. Uh, Saturday night I'm going to see Trombone Shorty. I've seen see? Trombone Shorty. Yeah. But if I was watching a TV special on Trombone Shorty and the man gets the hurricane season and a CBS goes to commercial break, I'm pissed. Okay. For what? Two seconds? Well, 30 seconds? I mean, a minute? Are you pissed enough to call in and complain? I have never been mad enough to call in and complain to a TV station. Well, that's good because a lot of people do. I know a lot of people do. <laughs> uh, and you used to get those phone calls. I did. But at the same time, I understand why they were mad. They're going to show it again tomorrow. Uh, I, I get mad when I set my DVR for something, something goes long, and my DVR in this world of technology that we live is going to record from, say, 8 to 9, and, you know, the Masters run long, and if, they, you know, or a sporting event runs long in the day, and now all of a sudden I'm recording half the program, I don't understand why DVRs can't say, all right, if you recorded this program, we're going to record that when it starts. The hell with the time. I'm recording that show, start to end. Well, they're, they're not that smart just why, yet. Why aren't they? Well, that's a great question. Why aren't, why aren't they? they? Is it on my DVR? Can I not say, hey, Joe, I was watching this show. You should watch it, and I could send you that episode. Why can't I do that? You know, I don't know. Technology should be allowed to do Who, that. Whose fault is that? The the nerds that come up with this stuff. Well, they need to come up, they and they to. will. Well, well, they well, I have to buy a whole new setup. Why haven't they yet? And I would say, all right, if you're a DirecTV guy and I'm a DirecTV guy, I should be able to send you something without you logging into my account and checking out. Uh, I mean, which which can happen. I don't ever log into your account. Oh, but you could. Well, I don't. Though. But you could. Just in case the... Uh, well, of all the people TV that or... I'm going to share with, it's not going to be Joe Reinagle. He's too much of a TV snob now that he's on YouTube. On yeah. the direct TV stream. Exactly. I mean, it's I was up where, where were we at in Phoenix? You were like, oh, no, 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 don't log into your direct TV. I've got YouTube. Yeah, let me Watch take this, boys. Yeah. Uh-huh. And yeah. it was perfect. Well, it worked. I, I, the only only the only person that cared was you. The rest of us just wanted television. Well, exactly right. But you couldn't find your password. Well, I recall you're trying to call your wife and, you know, she wasn't around or you yeah. could, so I'm like, dude, I want to watch TV. Yeah. Let's just do this. Well, my wife tends to. Well, it, it's on her email. 
And so she resets the password, but my kid also will reset a password. And, and then when I go to check the password, then I've got to find out what the hell it is. And it always changes. It's it very frustrating. In, in other words, I saved the day. You're welcome. Uh, uh, if you, you want to take credit for that, go right ahead. I will I, take I, all the you, credit. You, you, saved, you saved us eight minutes there. Saved eight, your butt. Eight, eight minutes, because by the time my wife sent what it was, you know. We were enjoying a program. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever it was. Yeah, it was I don't so, remember. It was probably, probably a Billy, Billy Joel, Joel and Piano Man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yep. Uh, so what a beautiful day out here at uh, what were we security service? Yes. The uh, event it's, a, it's quite the the complex that security service has out here. It, it really is. Uh, we were out here last year for the event, uh -huh. the Taste of the North Side. First time I'd been out here. This would be the second time I had been out here. I don't know what they use this for on a regular basis, but event. it is an incredible event center. And for Taste of the North Side, it's great. I I don't know if they're sold out yet. You could try to buy tickets. Go to the website, fightingsa.org uh, or tasteofthenorthside.org. Promo code STAR saves you 25 bucks if tickets are still available. Um so, and if you can come out here, the weather is perfect. Oh, it's fantastic! It's nice and cool, cloudy skies, so there's not a lot of uh, not a lot of sunshine. I've already been called Bill Taylor once today. Are you really? Are you I, yeah, I really have. In fact, I heard somebody say, "Bill, are you looking for something?" And I'm like, looking around, seeing where Bill is. The young lady came in. I said, "Oh, I'm I'm Joe, by the way." And she said, oh, oh, "Damn it!" She said, "No, she knew." Oh, she knew. But she wanted to see little Bill Taylor. Little Bill Taylor. Yeah, you know. Yeah. 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 So I've got my first. See how many uh, over and under is three. We'll go three and a half. If somebody from uh, Ken TV is listening, swing by here. It, it, do they had a tent here last year. Uh, they were set up. I don't know if they do that. And I remember that specifically. What we need to do is... Gave you a boatload of Channel 5 Fest medals. Yeah. Because Bill Taylor hands those out. He does. And you could just see your bill. I could. Take photos all day. Yeah. And just have people post pictures with you, but have Bill Taylor. You know, that's a great idea. And you'll get a medal. That's a, that's a great idea. You, you really don't like that idea. No, I think it's fine. I don't care. I mean, you know, I've gotten over it. It's like it yeah, doesn't, really have doesn't, it. doesn't really bother me. I it, mean, I, I can tell. I cry at night sometimes, but I mean, you know, other than that, it's fine. I'm all right. Yeah. Is there not called like Steve Brown? Well, that's true. Nobody's ever called me Steve Brown. Is Mostly it? Boo Taylor. I've had the uh, Cherry McKinnon once or twice. I've had, uh, let's see, um, who else have I had? Steve Spreester Waltz. I, I um, almost see a little spur. Yeah. Pat that a little, little bit. You know, folks are really nice. They only see you on TV. Yeah. They don't know where. Yeah. They don't know your name. Is. Exactly. So they just root for something. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Joe Ryan. Yes. And or Toa Ryan. Yes. As it might of be. course. It is the blood of your own at 941 at San Diego Soul Star. He is Joe Ryan Eagle. I'm Jay Simonics on Twitter. Joe Ryan Eagle. So I know you, <laughs> Excuse me. You can tweet at me at Jason Max. You can comment on YouTube, but none of us will see it. Ah, so you can't have to do the fact you want if you got something to say. Call in. Yeah, call in. It, it's going to be one of those old school shows. Yeah. 656 yes, and 6376. And you talk about being old school. In some way, like our, our rundown, which is, you know, how we put the show together online. Uh -huh. I can't access. Um, I have no idea what we're going to do next. I've got, I've got an idea right here since mine is actually up and working. Really? Mine is just, uh, I've just got a big Google logo and uh, nothing. Let me tell you what we're going to do. What are we going to do We're going to talk to those Cowboys because that's what we do here at Blitz. And, and ex-Cowboy is really pissed off. Is it at your job? Oh, Here we go. All right. Here we go. Will Mark Pierce say now. We'll dive into that <laughs> next on Blitz on 941 San Antonio Sports Star. If you're a business owner, a manager, a club leader, and you need your logo on any kind of gear, get into Sammy's Embroidery and 
thing at down on San Pedro. As we're out here at Taste of the North Side on this Thursday night, looking around all the different people that are working, getting set up, all the organizations. You know, they've got T-shirts with the logos on it. Uh, they, they probably got them at Sam's because if you're smart, that's what you do. If you need T-shirts, screen printing, go see Sam. You need logos. So all the no matter what they're wearing, they've got their logo on it, whether it's on an apron, uh, a chef's coat, a um, golf shirt, fishing shirt, any kind of shirt. Sam will get that logo on anything, everybody with a hat. Sam has over 25,000 caps and more than 75 color combinations on display in his showroom, including the popular Richardson 112 style trucker caps. He's got them in stock just waiting for your logo. Sam's embroidery and printing. Nobody has better prices. Sam has all the big name brands, and he's the only company in Texas with one day turnaround at order too small. Call 210 824 3900. 824 3900. Or better yet, go by that massive showroom on San Pedro, one mile inside Loop 410. Next big lots across from McDonald's, or check the website samsembroidery.com for Sammy's Embroidery Club. It's the 2024 NFL Draft on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. We're the 24th pick. The Dallas Cowboys select. April 25th, 26th, and 27th. Join 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star for this year's NFL Draft. Live from Detroit. I love the tenacity and the aggression with which he plays. He is a mauler. Who do the Cowboys and Texans pick? Does Jerry make a splash? Who goes number one? And who's the next Mr. Irrelevant? The Houston Texans select C.J. Stroud. I don't ever want to pass on the guy you ought to be taking there, but still be position select. I thought Sauce Gardner would be the first corner, but you go back to 2019, and that version of Derek Stingley is as good as anybody in this entire draft class. Find out right here on your exclusive home for the NFL Draft. 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Sports Center is brought to you by Byers Barricade. Buyersbarricades.com. Guys, did you know your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED? And right now, Revive Men's Health San Antonio will check your testosterone for free. They've helped thousands of men since 2011 feel and perform better. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. Schedule your free testosterone test, exam, and consultation today. Call 210-615-7777. That's 210-615-7777. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. If you're driving a car or truck with an expired warranty and suddenly lost your transmission or needed a full engine repair, would a $4,000 repair bill leave you stranded? I'm Danica Patrick. Don't get caught off guard with a vehicle breakdown. Choose the company I trust, Endurance. No matter the mileage, if your vehicle is less than 20 years old, Endurance offers auto protection plans for any budget. Protection on the drivetrain, electrical, transmission, AC, and more plus 24-7 roadside assistance and rental car reimbursement on any plan. Endurance handles everything from making the claim to paying the certified mechanic of your choice. Act now and get one full year of elite benefits, a $2,000 value free. Endurance has paid hundreds of millions in claims. Call for your fast free quote today. Call 800-290-6207. That's 800-290-6207. 800-290-6207. If you're a man and you live in San Antonio or the surrounding areas, you need to pay close attention to what I'm about to say. Are you having issues rising to the occasion? Do you constantly worry about whether or not you can perform? Have you completely stopped having adult time? Is it something you just don't talk about? Guys, we have a solution. Mojo, the 100% guaranteed male enhancement pill that's fast, effective, and was designed to reignite passion, performance, and confidence in the bedroom. Yeah. Be ready at a moment's notice with the Mojo Male Enhancement Pill from Pure Line Nutrition. And for those of you who have used Mojo, check out Mojo Enduramax. Touchdown! A new formula that improves the potency and effectiveness of Mojo. Get fast results, last longer, and be the man she'll never forget. Mojo and Mojo Enduramax, 100% natural male enhancement formulas, only available at Pure Line Nutrition. Call now, 210-494-2210. That's 210-494-2210. Or visit us online at thepureline.com. Calling all children ages 8 to 16. AGB and the Dallas Cowboys are bringing a youth football clinic to you on May 4th from 7 
7 a.m. to 2 p.m. at East Central High School in San Antonio. You can do skills and drills just like the pros. Register for your chance to participate at DallasCowboys.com slash H-E-B. Campus limited to 150 athletes per session. So sign up today. Purchase not required to register. Parents must be 18 years of age or older. And a Texas resident. The promotion ends April 25th. For official rules and important details, visit DallasCowboys.com slash H-E-B. Cashback is not available on gas in New Jersey and Wisconsin. $5,000. That's the average amount of money people in the U.S. are now spending on gas in a year. Five grand. That's crazy. If you drive, you have to download Upside, the free app that gives you cash back every time you get gas. That's right. You can earn real cash back with Upside just by buying the gas you're already buying. You can literally start earning cash back today. I use Upside every time I fill up, and I've already made around two, three hundred dollars. You're putting gas in your car anyway. Why not get real cash back? If you like free money, download Upside. I'm saving the cash I earn from using Upside to help pay for a vacation later this year. Download the free Upside app now to earn cash back every time you buy gas. Use promo code YEAR to get an extra 25 cents per gallon on your first tank. You can cash out anytime right to your bank, PayPal, or a gift card for Amazon and other brands. Just download the free Upside app and use promo code YEAR for a 25 cents per gallon bonus on your first tank. That's code YEAR for a 25 cents per gallon bonus. Check out the Jim Rome Show, weekdays and noon. If you're San Antonio, there are benefits that come along with it. I will cut you to the front of the line. We're going to hype the return. On 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Well, good Thursday afternoon, everybody. This is the Blitzer at 941 San Antonio Sports Star. I'm Joe Reinagle. Jason Menix has uh, wandered off. Actually, we're looking for a solution. We understand the uh, signal is not the best right now, so we're trying to fix that. So grumpy-ass Greg Jellin and Jason Minix are off and about, so we'll talk about whatever we need to talk about here. Uh, you know, I mentioned, or we mentioned going into the break uh, that Marcus Spears was a little bit upset with Jerry Jones. We've talked about this uh, quite a bit, right? The kids have done absolutely nothing. I heard RJ and Jason this morning uh, talk about this, and, and obviously Jason is a, a big Cowboys homer. He loves Dak Prescott, I think. Long lost cousin or something. I, I don't know, but he loves the guy. So, um, but, you know, Cowboy fans should be a little bit upset. And I think for the most part, you are if you're a Cowboy fan. Well, even the players are starting to turn a little bit now. Uh, Marcus Spears, Cowboy Gray, we've had him on the Blitz before. You know who is on ESPN. And um, he didn't hold anything back today. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not okay. I'm not okay because everybody else does it. Like, I, first of all, Stephen Jones is my guy. When I see Stephen, we talk. He knows how frustrated I am when it comes to the moves that they make and how they stand pat. We've known for two and a half years now that you're going to have to re-sign Micah Parsons and C.D. Lamb. But only having them two in Dak is not going to win you a damn Super Bowl. And that is what we're talking about in context. And the problem is, because it makes sense to have to sign both of those guys, they're going to command a lot of money when they up for their contracts. Everybody knows that. But the bottom line is, everybody that's winning Super Bowl, figure out a way to do it. Kansas City figures out a way to pay their guy. Chris Jones just got a hundred and something million dollars. Pat Mahomes got five hundred million. Travis Kelsey signed a contract. They signed offensive linemen to high dollar, um, high dollar contracts. We see the Philadelphia Eagles do it every damn offseason. So as much as we focus on the Cowboys and we get mad about them standing pat, you should be pissed off more as a Dallas Cowboy fan. The fact that other people can figure out and manage ways to do this and get to championships or NFC championships with signing their own players and also bringing in free agents. I've been singing this song for three years now. Has the roster been good? Yes, it's been solid. This may be the worst one since we've been talking about Dallas having a chance to win a damn Super Bowl. Everybody else can do it. And it seems when it comes to the Dallas Cowboys, it's always something we're trying to get people in that's going to take you over the hump. Boy, I tell you what, Marcus Spears is fired up, and he's not the only one. Because, look, and we, we, we talk about it all the time. The Cowboys have been a team that typically is not a big player in the free agent market. But to not be at all, 
I mean, it's on a linebacker. They they sign a, a you know a, a retreaded running back that's been with just about every team in the league in Royce Freeman. Uh, and, and I guess those are steps in the right direction. But those aren't steps that are going to lead you to get any further in the playoffs than you've been in the past. The Cowboys had the roster last year, and everything broke for them. And and this is where I have to take up for Jerry Jones a little bit. Now there's some things he could linebacker help and they didn't go out and get it and was that jerry's fault perhaps it was he's the general manager but everything lined up for them and i think the entitlement in dallas with some of the uh, with some of these players is just off the chart it is and the, the opportunity was there i just don't think it's going to be any bigger or better than it was last year second seed Two games at home. You got the Green Bay Packers, who they should have been. They wouldn't have had to go on the road possibly at all. Or in San Francisco for the NFC Championship game. And they come out, lay an egg. And to me, that's just pure entitlement. We're the Dallas Cowboys. We're at home. We're playing the Green Bay Packers. We never lose at home. It's going to happen. I, I believe the attitude was that with the Cowboys when they got into the playoffs. And that, my friends, is certainly unfortunate. And until that changes, and maybe that is Jerry Jones' problem. But I will take up for that man because he did have the roster around his players. Dak had to he had he went, they went out and got him a wide receiver. They had a cornerback who was a veteran. Yes, Trayvon Diggs got hurt. Uh Leighton Vanderish. That certainly didn't help Everything was set up for success for the Cowboys. And I don't blame Marcus Spears. I don't blame R.J. Ochoa. I don't blame anybody that is a Dallas Cowboy fan for being upset with the way they're handling this. And the only thing that I can think of is something that John Mishota from The Athletics said a couple of weeks ago in this whole thing. And that was that Jerry Jones was just so upset with that performance in that first-round playoff game, that he's just not willing to write any checks. Look, Jerry, what difference does it make? If they win, if they lose, he's still the most valuable franchise in sports history. Jared Jones, he's continued to be sure. I mean, he will. So if they win, if they go to the playoffs, he wins. If they don't go to the playoffs, he wins. It doesn't matter to Jerry Jones. But I know that he wants to win. He has said it, and I've seen the passion in that man's eyes a championship. He put a team on the field that had every opportunity to do that last year, and now he's being hard-headed. He's being stubborn and saying, the hell with you. I don't want to write any checks anymore. For you guys, if you're going to go out and perform the way you performed against the Green Bay Packers in the playoffs. And let me ask anybody out there, if you're a boss, if you're not, if you think you are, and your employees went out there and performed as horribly as the Cowboys performed in that playoff game against the Green Bay Packers, would you want to be giving them raises and big giant contracts and and $300 million extensions? I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to do that. If that's how you're going to reward me for rewarding you, then I don't want to reward you anymore. And that's why I have called for, and I know everybody thinks I'm nuts, and that's fine, and maybe I am to some extent. Blow this thing up. Blow it up. Other teams have done it and come out just fine. The Philadelphia Eagles, one of those teams. They blow it up. They start over in this day and age with free agency the way that it is. And if you've got some money to spend, which the Cowboys don't right now, despite what Marcus Spears says, they don't have any money. And I know other teams find ways to do it. But blow this thing up. Start over. Get yourself a rookie quarterback. Put some talent around him and see if that works. Your $50 million a year quarterback is not getting the job done. Regular season, second MVP voting, that's all wonderful and great. But is that enough for Cowboy fans? Is it enough? Are you satisfied with that? And do you think I'm nuts? I say blow this thing to smithereens. Just blow it up. Let Dak walk. Let C walk. Let him walk and start over. It can be done. It's been done before and been done successfully. Give me a call. 656-3776-656-ESPN. 
technical issues that we're having right now and uh, hope to get those ironed out here pretty soon. But I would like to hear from you uh, if you've got a thought on that. Are, are you are you ready to blow this thing up or are you ready to say, nah, the only way we can win is with Dak Prescott, with C.D. Lamb, with Micah Parsons? That's what Jason Minnick says. Do you feel the same way? And it's not going to hurt my feelings. <laughs> well, maybe you will. I don't know. I might cry, but that's okay. What do you want to do with this football team? Let me know. Again, 656-3776, 656-ESPN. We had some basketball play-in tournament action last night, and uh, Miami Heat, who really should have won that game last night against Philadelphia, but the Sixers came to play in that fourth quarter, and that was the difference. We'll talk play in basketball, little NBA when we return. From the taste of the north side, that's where we are. They're setting everything up out here, getting ready for what is a fabulous event. In fact, probably the best event of Fiesta. It's great. Come on out here and see us. We're at the Security Service Building right here off of Interstate 10, and uh, we're going to have a you can have a good time with us. Come on out here. We'll be back right here on San Antonio Sports Star 941. Let me tell you about Stevens Roofing, though, really quick, because let me tell you about Stevens Roofing. You know, we've had the storms, we've had the hail, we've had the wind, the all of that stuff. And, and that just happens here in San Antonio and South Texas. That's what happens, right? We're used to it. It happens every single year. And you want to make sure that your roof is up to standard, that it is ready for anything has to uh, throw at us because she will. Stevens Roofing. Quality roof overhead by Stevens Roofing means comfort, it means confidence, and it certainly means peace of mind. Protection for all of the things that you love. Look, if you're in the market for repairs, you need a replacement roof, you want an upgrade, or you just need that roof inspected to make sure that it's okay and the last hailstorm didn't do any damage, Stevens Roofing is a company to call. Don't deal with one of those fly-by-night uh, companies that come by every time there is a storm because they're going to leave town and leave you with a shoddy job. Stevens Roofing, they're not going anywhere. They've been here for a long time and they're going to be here for a long time. Stevens Roofing, give them a call today, 210-785-0994 or online at stevensroofing.net. It's the Morning Huddle with Rob and RJ. Friday on the Morning Huddle, we're looking ahead to tonight's play-in games. The final two playoff spots are going to be taken. Plus, the NHL playoffs start this weekend. There's a lot going on. We're going to get into it, so make sure you meet us at 6 a.m. The Morning Huddle gets going. We'll see you there. It's the Morning Huddle with Rob and RJ. Morning 6 to 10 on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. If you can't sleep because of annoying knee pain, that's a problem. If you stop running because your feet always hurt, that's a problem. If your elbow, shoulder, and neck pain make it impossible for you to do your job, that is a problem. And it's time to finally do something about it. I'm Dr. Jason Garrett from Arosti. At Arosti, we fix pain fast. No medications, no injections. Arosti treatment is completely natural and non-invasive. Plus, we accept most insurance plans. There's a location near you. Visit Arosti.com. That's A-I-R-R-O-S-T-I.com. Arosti, we fix pain fast. Free. Who doesn't love free? With Milo's Rewards, you get the member-only treatment that's actually worth it. Enjoy free member gifts you'll love. And once you reach Silver Key status, you can get free standard shipping. Because Lowe's knows nothing feels better than free. Learn more about our new loyalty program at Lowe's.com slash Milo's Rewards today. Program subject to terms and conditions. See Lowe's.com slash terms for details. Member gifts may be subject to additional terms and restrictions. See Lowe's.com slash shipping terms for details. Subject to change. As a roofer, spring means the start of my busy season, which means I've got to get organized with help from Beacon. I can save time with Beacon Pro Plus and 24-7 access to live pricing, delivery tracking, order history, and more. Plus, this spring, I can earn $1,000 and the chance to win a $25,000 backyard renovation just by buying my certain teen shingles online with Beacon. No purchase necessary. Now that's what I call a spring cleanup. 
Visit BECN.com for official rules and to start earning entries. George gets justice. If you've been injured, get George, because George gets justice. With over 100 years of combined experience and a relentless dedication to your case, the attorneys at George Salinas Injury Lawyers will fight for what's right. If you've been injured and it's not your fault, get George and get the compensation you deserve. Call George Salinas Injury Lawyers today at 210-225-0909 or visit GetGeorge.com. George Gets Justice. GetGeorge.com. Oh, happy Thursday, everybody. Thanks for joining us here on The Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. We are live at the Taste of the North Side. Uh, an official fiesta event. And I'll tell you what, it is one of the best. If you're a food person, then you need to be here at the Taste of the North Side, right here at the uh, Security Service um, Building, right off I-10 and kind of UTSA Boulevard. It's right there uh, in that area. So make plans to come on out. By the way, if you uh, I, th- I don't know if they have tickets or not, but if you go to SanAntonioSportsStar.com and you uh, want to buy them there, you're going to get 25 bucks off per ticket. So go check that out. If they'll let you buy them, then, well, they're not sold out. If you can't buy them, guess what? They are sold out. But this is uh, is quite the event. It really is. And this place is pretty nice out here. You know, it's interesting. And, again, I will apologize for our signal. Uh, I've, I've seen some of you on uh, X, Twitter, whatever it's called these days, say that uh, we sound like Max Headroom. And I, I'm impressed that, uh, that people remember Max Headroom, Charlie Pozos, Says uh, Max Headroom. Charlie, I don't remember when Max Headroom was around. Was that back in the early 2000s or was that all the way back in the 90s? Pledge, you remember? You remember Max Headroom? No, I do not remember Max Headroom. Max Headroom, and I want to say he was like a, a with Coke, with Coca Cola. Uh, I don't remember specifically, but it, it's funny that uh, Charlie puts up a Max Headroom thing. Sounds it says that we sound like Max Headroom today. And again, we are working on it. That's why Jason Minix is not here. I'm Joe Reinagle, by the way. Uh, we're working on getting a new spot with uh, some more reliable um, internet and and that kind of stuff. So bear with me here, if you will. And and I'm still open to hearing anything. <laughs> we kind of have to do it the old fashioned way. For today. us of a certain age, uh, who is Max you, Headroom? Well, Max Headroom, that's what I, I need to look. That Can you look that up, Pledge? Because sure. I'm having a hard time remembering. But I think it was a Coca Cola uh, back in the day, uh, robot. Uh, it really, were like one of the first AI guys that uh, was, oh, was doing. Oh, um, I remember that and, guy. <laughs> You remember that guy? Yeah, now that I yeah, see the picture it, of it. Was it Coca-Cola? Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, I lost. Let me was see. It, exactly. it was one of, one of the, it's something. I, I want to say Coke. I'm not sure exactly, but I want to say it was Coke. I'm looking, I'm, I'm, I'm looking but at his kind of sound weird, but Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, he was a bot, right? Like on a TV, but yeah. he was, a, he was a, a, a AI guy, and and so yeah, he, so it was it, it was really kind of cool the way they did that. And I want to say that had to be early two thousands, maybe late eighties, but I want to say early two thousands, something well, like that, right in 80s. that area. Um, but he was one of the coolest guys around. It, it was, was the late eighties, yeah. It was eighty seven, eighty eight, late. Holy cow, Charlie Pozos is not that old. How in the hell, Charlie, do you remember who Max Headroom is? The internet is a wonderful thing. So is hardwired internet. So here's what we're going to do. What are we going to do? Here's what we're going to do. Pledge, drive the car for a few minutes because we're going to have a turnover and we're moving inside. Uh, But in order to do that, uh, Pledge, carry the show uh, until we're set up inside, ready to go. Do you remember Max Headroom? Of course I remember Max Headroom. <laughs> I didn't realize it was 19, in late 80s. Yeah, guy. it's late 80s. Holy cow. Do you remember MTV? I do. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Pledge. Uh, we get the wheel, man. we got to go. All right, Pledge. It's all, all right. you, brother. Well, this is the Blitz here on 941 San Antonio Sports Star. While those guys get set up with some hardwired internet, to which I will be uh, making sure that we get them to 
wherever they need to get to get set up. I am going to go ahead and carry this show. And the, and there's a lot that has kind of gone through the day as we've NBA playoffs, uh, NFL draft. Joe just talked about blowing things up with the Dallas Cowboys and the very difficult thing about blowing things up with the Dallas Cowboys, at least in my opinion, is the fact that it is very, very hard to just decide to blow things up, especially with a quarterback, because it is not easy to find those in this league. And as much as you may have discontent for Dak Prescott or whatever it may be because of his playoff failures, he has gotten them to the playoffs seven times and it being two and five or five times he's two and five in the playoffs. It's a difficult task to even get to the playoffs in a lot of instances to give yourself that shot. And if you don't have a quarterback, it becomes even harder harder and Dak Prescott is at least capable of doing that now is the supporting cast around him what it needs to be no did we think that they had a really great team last year yes did that team fall short of expectations because of Dak not necessarily the team fell short of expectations because that defense wasn't as great as we all thought it would be now part of the reason it wasn't as good as we thought it would be, is out of the building. Dan Quinn um, going with smaller linebackers, going with multiple safety looks, allowed them to get run on by a bunch of teams. So I understand wanting to blow it up. I understand wanting to reset your cap. I understand all that. But it, best case scenario in doing something like that, whether – you look at the Houston Texans or the Philadelphia Eagles who won a Super Bowl and had to blow it up. Well, at least when they blew it up, there was a quarterback behind Carson Wentz that they had invested a high second round draft pick in that they thought, okay, let's try it with this guy. The Cowboys don't have that right now. And you can say, oh man, what about Trey Lance? Okay, sure. What about Trey Lance? He is also going into the final year of his deal. Likely. Because May 2nd, they have to make the option on whether to pick up his fifth year option or not. And at over $22 million, I don't think they're going to pick his option up. So now you are stuck without a quarterback. And that will usually take you a couple of years to root. Or do you trust the fact that the Cowboys seemingly have faith in the guys that they have been talking about this entire time, like Stephen Jones did earlier this week on 105.3 The Fan when he was talking about if there was concern for the offensive line with the losing of Tyler Biotish and Tyron Smith losing two-fifths of that starting offensive line. Well, we just think you have to continue to evolve uh, as an offensive line. And certainly you hate to lose a player like Tyron Smith, uh, who's going to, in my opinion, be a Hall of Famer. I think he's going to be wearing a yellow jacket. But at the same time, unfortunately, Tyron's had to miss a lot of games. And at some point, you have to make those tough decisions. Certainly, uh, you hate to lose uh, Tyler at center uh, in terms of uh, you know what he had done for us. But at some point there, you got to make a tough decision that we can have him go to another team and uh, we can replace him, hopefully, and uh, have a center who's better. And we like the young guys that we've brought in here over the years. Not unlike Connor McGovern stepped up after being a backup for three years. He stepped up and played really good at guard and then got awarded a contract in Buffalo. We have guys like well, let's go and awesome Richards and, you know, young players that are on the come. TJ Bass played really well for us last year. So obviously uh, there are guys that our fans aren't as acquainted with as much uh, because they hadn't played as much, but we feel like they can step up, not unlike Tyler did as a rookie at center and play really well. So they have a lot of faith in the guys that they have waiting in the wings or at least seemingly. The draft will indicate a lot more of that. I think the guys are finally back on site. 
if I'm well, not mistaken and connected, hardwired, things sound pretty good in my ear. Does uh, Joe still sound like Max Headroom? That becomes the, <laughs> the biggest question of them all. Max Headroom. I can't believe that dude was all the way back in the 80s. My well, gosh, that surprises the hell out of me. You know that meme? And that says, you know, when I hear 30 years ago, I think 70s, and you're actually talking about the 90s. Right. Uh, that, that's you, you sound old. You sound like a meme by saying that, although it is very accurate. You know, you have to be of a certain age to remember Max Hedrum. And we are at the age now, and it pisses me off, that we can talk to a guy like we did the other day at the Golf Club of Texas who had no idea who Roger Staubach was. And so w when you look at that and you think about it, what'd you lose? I lost my mouse. Well, it well, might be out there somewhere. It, it might be. That's okay. It's the least of my worries. Yeah. Although hard to work your computer without your mouse. Um, I got mine. Well, uh, I, got, I got this one here. I'm good. You know, I'm the, good. The, the beauty of live radio, and we appreciate you guys uh, yeah, bearing with us. sticking with us to change on the fly like we just did as quickly as we did would make a NASCAR pit crew extremely excited, although we've left tools all over the racetrack. Yeah, we, and, and, and we sent Greg Shelton to go pick up the pieces of what we could carry and drop along the way, although now we're inside the main ballroom area here at Taste of the North Side. Doors open at 6, and like any great event, you look around and you go, well, how in the hell is this going to be ready in three and a half hours? But it will be. You know, balloons are getting attached to the ceiling. All these restaurants are setting up their incredible displays. I see lots of wine to my right. And I am thirsty after the running that yes. we have just been doing. Absolutely. Yes. And uh, my wife will enjoy that table over there. She is uh, a wine connoisseur. And so she's going to enjoy that, I know. What is that, from late. Piatti's? Uh, yeah, Piatti's. Uh-huh. Great place. Great place. Yeah. They are setting up all the wine. They are. And they I know are, yeah. I know, I know. at least one of those bottles yeah. has my name on it, yeah. for sure. Yeah, ex for exactly. Sure. How you doing? Exactly. How it. you doing, man? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> and, and of all the things, that's what we can't sample while we're on the air. Exactly right. But, but at 6 o'clock. Uh, we will be, and after the way this show has started, we're all going to need a drink. <laughs> yes, we are. Uh, it, it's it's the fun of live radio, and, you know, as we were reconnecting, you could hear James Pledger playing the soundbite from Stephen Jones, where, and, and, and I think Stephen, and no, I'm not just drinking the Kool-Aid or sounding like a homer. I'm just trying to be realistic with what you're hearing. Well, you, you always know, do, so well, it's okay. I, I mean, you know, it's funny, being on with RJ – I was the cowboy hater this morning, even <laughs> though he's the salty one. It, it's incredible because everybody is so angry. And I said this to RJ Ochoa this morning as I was filling in for He right now is mad at everything the Cowboys could do. Uh -huh. If he were at dinner with Jerry Jones, he would get mad at Jerry for chewing too loud. He's at that level of anger and frustration. But what you are hearing, and all you can do is really go on what they are telling us. And with their inactivity, maybe there is some truth in what they are telling us. They seem to have a lot of belief in those young players and their development. Oh, it will. I mean, hopefully, if they're saying these guys are ready, we don't need to go replace them. Talking about the offensive line, uh, maybe. I, I mean, at some point, every proven player was unproven and was given a chance. The thing that I don't like about this plan is they're expecting a lot of guys to have matured at the exact same time. Well, true, and, and that's that's going to be an interesting part, and they are rolling the dice. I mean, they are rolling the dice. So we'll see how that happens. Now, while you were gone hooking up, I went uh, on my get-off-my-lawn rant. Uh -huh. It's still talking about, look, it, it, is it time? Isn't it time? Because we heard from Marcus Spears while you were gone, uh -huh. and he's not happy at all. He's not. Right? So I'm saying, look, I, I kind of like the version. Well, let's blow this thing up and start over. I mean, let's see what Dak does. He's going to be a quarterback this year. Uh, we've already talked about and, and people suggesting that maybe, you know, you draft a, a wide receiver early and let C.D. Lamb go. Um, and so you know, why not? I mean, why not? Other teams have done it and they've been successful doing it. You know, uh, uh, other teams have. But I, 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 when you look at what the Cowboys have done, with three straight 12-win regular seasons, 
this roster isn't as bad as it appears. It, it really isn't. This is still a good roster. Is it a championship caliber roster? No, it doesn't feel like that right now. It, it doesn't. You'll see what they do in the draft. And, you know, quite frankly, if, if the Cowboys are rolling the dice on the growth of some of these young players, we will find out. But this team doesn't look like it's reached its end where, yes, it is time to blow it up. And also with Jerry Jones in his 80s, I just don't see Jerry at this age, at this point, willing to say, you know what, screw it. We're going to start over. We're going to look for a new quarterback. And because they haven't planned for post Dak Prescott life, they're, they're in a position where they really can't just blow it up and start over. They, well, they, 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 really, they really can't. If they bottom out and everybody's healthy this year and they get five wins, seven wins, something like that, then, yeah, at that point, maybe all bets are off, right? But at this point, it doesn't look like they are at that point where that would be a a logical conclusion for the Dallas Cowboys. They're not at the let's blow it up point, you know, and they're and they're getting close to where they were a couple of years ago. And I and I saw a story earlier today with Buffalo. They got rid of Stephon Diggs and their GM today said, well, we don't really need a number one wide receiver. And I, I just thought back, well, you know, wide receiver by committee worked out so well for the Dallas Cowboys a couple of years ago. So well, in fact that they traded a first-round pick in season to go get Amari Cooper, which proved to be a really good trade at the time. But going wide receiver by committee does not work. Well, okay, whether it works or not, I don't know. Buffalo feels like it did. Buffalo's one of those teams. They've got the expensive quarterback, but yet they're blowing their team up. They're, they've done that, and we'll see how it works out. Um, I, I just point to, like, Philadelphia, for example. You know, they they – Got rid of their high-priced quarterback. He sucked, but they got rid of him. Uh, you see other teams doing that. You see Detroit and the Rams making a trade. Paid off pretty well for the Rams. Uh, paid I just, off well for Detroit. I, I, it worked out well for Detroit. I just think that, that there's something that can be done with these guys. And I know Marcus Spears' message was, look, other teams find a way to have all these high-priced guys and still put talent around them. It's, a, it's just a hell of a lot harder. And if you want to keep Dak Prescott, okay. But then there's got to be some hard choices to make. I just don't see this team right now as good as it was. Uh, that team that walked off the field at Jerry World after getting their butts kicked by the Green Bay Packers. That was a good, pretty good football team. They had some issues. Linebacker was one. Uh, and, and they had some issues. And that was probably the biggest one. However, they had the, the best chance that they've had in years to really make a deep playoff run. And I think the I think the Cowboy players at that time got arrogant. And I think Jerry's still pissed off about it. I think they thought they thought we got this made. We're at home. Two games. Sure. We got we got to want to get and they forgot uh, nobody told that to the Green Bay Packers. Well and, and, and that's it. And I do agree. Jerry is mad. But when you look at all the guys that have left and every every guy that has left, they've got to have the ability to make up. And when you look at the offensive line, which is one of the, the, the bigger issues, you just sit there and you wonder, do the Cowboys have what it takes with those young offensive linemen to uh, be able to go? Appreciate you, man. Um, and, and, and be able to get it done. That is you know, one of the bigger questions that truly has to be answered. And and because they're going with some of the young talent and agree with it or not, it is their philosophy, draft and develop. And if they think these guys are ready and, and look, I, I, I want an offensive lineman in the first round. I don't know if it's the center. I don't know if it's a tackle, but it, they have the ability in the first round to draft a 10 year starter on the offensive line. That's what I want. And if they, don't take the center. They take the tackle. That tells me they believe in Brock Hoffman. Uh, is Brock Hoffman capable? When he played last year for Tyler Biotish, it didn't seem like there was a glaring, oh, man, this guy can't work. So maybe, may, and, and the Cowboys right now don't have our trust to say, all right, they think they're ready. Let's go with it. They really don't have that, but that's what they are banking on. Well, it is. And look, and we'll find out. And and I, nobody, there's nobody that can sit here and say uh, that that's a bad fly and that these guys aren't ready because we don't know. And you're right. Hoffman, I think maybe maybe he is the center of the future because, look, the Cowboys moved off uh, Connor McGovern, 
right? They moved off him. Biotis stepped in. He did a good job. Now, Biotis is gone. Does Hoffman follow in their footsteps and become a pretty good center? I think if, if I'm the Cowboys, I think left tackle – is is the position that you need to fill or at least get somebody in there that can develop into that and put Tyler Smith there uh, if you have to for a little while. I would rather have Tyler Smith at left tackle. Where even if we draft the left tackle, just out of concern that that draft pick isn't ready to protect the blind side of one Dak Prescott his rookie year. <laughs> I would much rather have the experience. Even if Tyler is more comfortable at guard, he was drafted to be the left tackle. Uh, kick him out there at least until we know that guy can actually play that position regardless of the draft. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. We are live at the Security Service Event Center. We have moved inside as we get ready for a taste of the north side, benefiting the Brighton Center, which is tonight. Fiesta officially here in San Antonio with my favorite Fiesta event. No doubt. We got a live audience out in here now. Yeah. Now, we were outside talking to the birds. Now we got real folks in here who are yeah. working hard. Yeah, they're not paying attention. To well, you, you'd be surprised. We don't want to slow down progress. No, just be ready at just six. Just be ready. There's going to be so much food here. And if <laughs> you think about all the food that you're going to have here tonight at a taste of the north side and all the different Fiesta events at home this weekend, if you're grilling at home, maybe you're doing a nice steak. Before you do that, you need to get into Tri-County Meat Market. They're two great locations. Tri-County Meat Market, locally owned and full service. They have everything you need to up your grilling game. Beef, chicken, pork, fajitas, poppers, and so much more. You want to do some ribs this weekend, maybe a nice big bone-in ribeye, a tomahawk, uh, doing fajitas, whatever you're thinking about. Uh, putting on that grill, get into Tri-County Meat Market. If you're not sure what you want on that grill, uh, just walk into Tri-County Meat Market and let that meat counter talk to you. At Tri-County, they have what you need with the quality you expect. You can always take advantage of their pick five for 25, and they always offer a 10% discount for military and first responders. Two great locations on Ralph Fair Road and on Hebner or online at tricountymeat.com. <laughs> Riding 410 with the Blitz. Afternoons 2 to 6, KTFM Floorsville, and everywhere at sasportstar.com. Hi, I'm Attorney Steve Bacon. If you've made the decision to divorce any experienced attorney that you know, I've helped many people get through divorce, custody, child support, and alimony problems. Call me. I'm Attorney Steve Benke. 210 divorce or go to bankylaw.com. Listen to this station anytime, anywhere on Odyssey. Odyssey is your new audio home for all the music, news, sports, and podcasts that matter to you. Odyssey. That's A U D A C Y. Injuries happen, and when they do, skip the ER and get to the OrthoNow Injury Clinic by TSA. Ortho now provides walk-in care for injuries like broken bones, dislocation, sprains, and strains. Conveniently located in the Cory area with extended hours Monday through Saturday with on-site x-ray casting and bracing, Ortho now has everything you need to treat your injury and best of all, no urgent care or emergency room copay. Learn more online at TSAOG.com. Pork rinds pack a protein punch and are the boldest low-carb snacks out there. Skip the chip and try Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds for that ultimate crunch. And with flavors that will have you craving for more, the time to stock up on Southern Recipe at HEB is now. Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds. Be big, be bold, be adventurous. Pluto San Antonio football returns to the Alamo Dome this Saturday night as the San Antonio Brahmas play host to the Michigan Panthers. Pack the dome for a 6 p.m. kickoff. Follow the Brahmas social channels for a link to get your Brahmas Fiesta medal with your tickets. Experience the excitement. Buy your tickets now at theufl.com. Come watch Coach Wade Phillips lead the Brahmas to take on the Michigan Panthers Saturday night at 6 in the dome. Get your tickets now at theufl.com. Vamos Brahmas! 
They say health is wealth, and I could not agree more. That's why if you or somebody in your life is living with everyday aches and pains, I want to tell you about Relief Factor. Relief Factor is a daily supplement that helps fight pain naturally. Naturally. Now, that's a big deal. Developed by its doctors, Relief Factor's unique formula of ingredients all work together to help support your body's response to inflammation. Instead of masking pain for a couple of hours, Relief Factor actually helps reduce or even eliminate your pain for good, whether it's neck, back, joint, or muscle pain. If you're looking to feel better, live better, give Relief Factor a try. In three weeks, you will know if it's working because you'll feel it. I was sent Relief Factor for me to try. I've been taking it every single day, and I do feel the difference. Go to relieffactor.com or call 1-800-4-RELIEF. That's 1-800, the number 4, RELIEF. Save on your first order. Don't let pain tell you how to live. Fight back naturally with Relief Factor. These products and statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Or Cowboys play here. 94 1. San Antonio Sports Star. San Antonio's Sports Center. Texans head coach D'Amico Ryans is being inducted into the Senior Bowl Hall of Fame, the 2024 class. He is a 2006 alumni of the game. 76ers advanced last night, getting by the Heat 105 104. Heat guard Jimmy Butler, though, suffered an MCL sprain. He's going to miss several weeks, including their elimination game against the Chicago Bulls on Friday night. Joe Reinagle. That's the third time in seven seasons. The San Antonio Spurs are the NBA champions. Jason Minix. They go back to big day as Super Bowl champions. Dallas 52, Buffalo 17. It's the Blitz on 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94-1 at San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Reinagle. I'm Jay Semenix. Wow. Live today at <laughs> Taste of the North Side here at the Security Service Event Center. Hopefully you have your tickets and you are coming out here for the best Fiesta event happening tonight. Uh, no question about it. They are certainly working hard in here, getting ready for this event. And, uh, you know, you're right. You said it a little, a little while ago that, uh, you know, it doesn't look like it will in about three hours from right now. It is it just, it's fabulous. If you've never been here, you got to put this on your bucket list because the food is fantastic. The drinks are flowing and uh, it's just, it's just a great thing. And it's all for a great cause. Well, and that's, that's the, the beautiful thing about all the Fiesta events is they are all raising money for great causes and certainly love what they do here at the Brighton Center and everything that they do. And this is their biggest fundraiser. And and it's incredible. And it is always amazing when you see what's going on behind the scenes. Uh, all the people that are working that are going to pull this together for this incredible event. All the work goes in. Everybody has a great time. And and then and then they tear it all down and, and then they go drink. Yes. Yes. Of course. Yes. Which is exactly what you want to do after a hard day. Well, yeah. Have a drink. And b- believe me, there is uh, plenty here. You can have as much as you want. Well, and, and well, and that's one of the beauties. The beauty, not one of, the beauty. Uh, yes, Taste of the North Side is an expensive ticket. But it's all VIP. Once you get in here, I'll... No, you don't have to go get drink tickets. No, nope. you don't have to get food tickets. You're, you know, it's not like, oh man, here, there, uh, it, everything is already taken care of. So if you were to price it out, you go to other events, cost to get in, and then of course all the other expenses that you deal with, you don't have that here at the uh, at the Taste of the North Side. No, it, uh, that's what's so cool about it. I love this event, and I can't wait uh, for tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun. And and you could join us. I don't know if they're sold out or not, Jason, but you can try, right? Well, and, that's it. Uh, go to the website, tasteofthenorthside.org or brightonsa.org. Try to buy tickets. If you can buy them, then you can still get them. Use promo code STAR, saves you $25. Yes. Yes. Hell of a deal. Or, or call a friend. Heck of a deal. Heck of a deal. Come on. Can't beat it. Boy, and I'm looking at a bunch of booths being set. And you just, just to give you an example, uh huh. You got Eddie V's over there setting up. Uh huh. You got Piatti's over there yep, setting yep. up. And I can't see some of the others who don't have their banners up. But we're talking about high dollar stuff. Who uh, are you? We, Tell me. We've just, got we've got BJ's Brew House right here BJ's to our right. Brew House. Now, it, Love it, that. now, what are you guys going to be serving up tonight? Hot cookies. So so the bazookies are are they going to be there? Cookies. 
Go, okay, you know, well, they'll make you, but you'll know, you know, pretend. That's okay, <laughs> right? You know, close enough and, and, and enjoy it at BJ's Brew House, which is right to our right. This is going to be fantastic. That's going to be great. Yes. You know what they have at BJ's? They've got uh, a, a blonde beer. Oh. That is fantastic. I'm glad you said beer. Well, I'm. I, <laughs> they probably have a few blonde. Yes, they do, including too. the I one mean, video and us right now. Right, I'm just saying that the beer, the blonde beer, there is uh, is is fantastic. And all I can do is because I can read. The sign says you want a free pizuki, so they're going to have an ability for you to get a free pizuki while you're here, along with the hot cookie. Those pizukis are incredible. No, they really yeah, are. They, they really yes, are. They're yeah, incredible. It's going to be fantastic. Look at that! I tell you what, technology. When you have internet, we've got uh, we've got YouTube working. Oh, we got we, we got our YouTube working. How about that? And Good. and we appreciate everybody that hung around on YouTube to listen to the show. Uh, and now we're back up. We so are. We are thank back you up. for your patience, everybody. Whether you're watching on YouTube or driving around, thank you for your patience. Well, today. and the ninety four one signal uh, with the internet issues. Uh, Joe sounding like Max Hedrum. Well. I, me and Greg Shelton were over trying to figure out where we could move to, and the people here that were accommodating to uh, throw us into a space. All right, go here. Um, uh, make it at work. That's that's what we have to do. So uh, good stuff. Let's do uh, the headline blitz. This is Jason and Joe's headline blitz. Two guys, two opinions, never enough time. <laughs> You know, yesterday, late in the show, we had a lot of fun with the Caitlin Clark press conference from yesterday. Hi, when man. Greg Doyle Caitlin, from the Indianapolis uh, Star, Star had <laughs> had one of the more awkward exchanges I've ever seen at a press conference. Play the whole thing, Pledge. Hi, Hi. Caitlin. Uh, Greg Doyle, Indy Hi. Star. Real quick, I'll let me do this. You like you like that. I like that you're here. I like yeah, that you're here. I do that at my family after every game, so. Okay, well, let's cool. start doing it to me, and we'll be able to get along just fine. Yeah. Was, yeah, that dude's in love. I, uh, he's in love. It, 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 it's just so creepy. Um, oh, he's getting roasted. He is getting roasted, and he's going to continue to get roasted. And I, he'll have a media credential to cover the Indiana Fever. Uh, he, he won't have locker room access. Um but he did last night, to his credit, while he is still getting hammered on social media, tweet an apology. Although even that was odd. He said in a tweet yesterday, late last night, today in my uniquely oafish way, yes. while welcoming at Caitlin Clark 22 to Indy, I formed my hands into her signature heart. My comment afterward was clumsy and awkward. And I creepy. sincerely apologize. Please know my heart, literally and figuratively, was well intentioned. I will do better. Well, you know, I hope so. Uh, that, that, that had to creep everybody out. And he, he, there was another one that he went on. Uh, I saw today that he said something to the. He's, he's talking to the coach, and he said, "You just got the keys to that." And he points at Caitlin Clark. Uh, I mean, this dude is just, uh, you know, his. His um, some of something else ruled well, his head instead of his head. Well, I, I, I mean, I, they do. They have the keys to a Ferrari now. Um, and, well, sure, in, but in in a in a similar type situation, it was like when we got Wemby. You get Wemby, and you feel like, all right, things are about to change around here. You know, nobody said uh, Wemby. Hi. I'm glad you're here. Uh, nobody told Pop, man, you got the keys to that. Yeah. It is. Uh, it, it was awkward and, uh, well, awkward. It, it was just dumb. I mean, come on, dude. You get a hold of your professional, you know, newspaper guy. Yep. I right, get, get, uh, get, get lucky on your own time. <laughs> well, he ain't getting lucky with that either way. Well, I was um, exactly, I mean, but I mean, that, that, it had a better shot. You know, at a local pub or restaurant or something. I, I mean, it, 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 I mean, yeah, uh, no, not even then. That would have been that would have been more awkward at a local pub or a restaurant. Now, I, there's no way to transition from that to Jason Kelsey in a fair way, because um, Jason Kelsey, if somebody would have said that to him, probably would have had a very different kind of comeback. Jason Kelsey is living the best life. Jason Kelsey in retirement is, um, well, he's doing all kinds of different things. And uh, apparently 
He's like our very own Rob Thompson. He loses things a lot. Right. Uh, apparently, yeah, yeah. that is a Jason Kelsey quality. And it's endearing when you understand, when you work with somebody like Rob, you get what, what's going to happen. Um, and I think Rob could certainly relate to what Jason Kelsey has done. But even Rob wouldn't have done this with his Super Bowl ring. After that event, and we went right to Jason lost his ring, where we had a full vat of Skyline oh Chili. God. This is actually technically a three-way. It's not just Skyline Chili. There's spaghetti in there, cheese, and chili. The video does not do justice just how disgusting this was. I had to get away from that corner. I went to Skyline twice over the weekend. I love Skyline Chili. This chili had been sitting out for, like, some oh, time period. It smelled so bad in that part of the arena. Mixed into that chili were <laughs> socks with make-believe rings, and then there was actually only one real ring in there, which was my Super Bowl ring, that they had to try and find. One in each pool, but there was an unfortunateness. Uh, as you guys know, this game existed because I continually lose my Super Bowl ring, um, and I don't even know if Travis still knows this, but I legitimately lost my Super Bowl ring in this event. They could not find it. This is Jets J searching through the chili to try and find the sock that had my Super Bowl ring in it. We have still yet to find it. What did you expect to happen? I thought that we would just go in the pool and get the ring afterwards. You're such a f***ing imbecile. Greg got a metal detector. There's actually metal in Skyline Chili. There's traces of iron within the chili itself. So it's an impossible task to try and use a metal detector. That's so good. There's probably lead as well in there somewhere. <laughs> It's just a hunk of metal. I'll just have another one made, I think. They can do that, right? I don't know, Jason, probably. I guess we're going to find out. Can you actually get another Super Bowl ring made? I, I mean, certainly not for free. How do you – I mean, it's got to be in the chili if you put it in a sock. Well, I, I mean, but there were other things in there because he loses stuff, so they made a bit out of it, but he's actually lost it. Now, Skyline Chili, if you're not familiar. <laughs> and remember we were talking about chili the other day in, in Cincinnati – in Ohio, I think all over the place, but they like their spaghetti with like this runny chili yeah. as opposed to spaghetti sauce. I, I'm not a fan. I've tried it. I, I'm not a fan. But there are people that swear by Skyline Chili. I can't imagine being a vat of that. But he lost his ring. And he's like, all right, I'll just get another one. Now, I have lost a couple of three wedding rings. Really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you're still married still married <laughs> and i don't wear one anymore wow right? uh, wow um and the fear the first time you lose a ring is mighty holy oh, yeah right yeah i lost it at a football game after the game on the field somewhere and we walked that field for hours looking for it <laughs> couldn't find it oh uh, uh, um it, it's what i can't imagine Losing a Super Bowl ring. I can't because I, I'll get go get another wedding ring uh, after you take a lot of crap when you get home. And uh, but uh, to lose a Super Bowl ring and be that blatant about it, well, I'll just go get another one. Well, that's uh, that's uh, rich people problems, yeah, right? Because what are those Super Bowl rings about a hundred grand? Uh, I, I read this one was about 40. Oh, 40. Okay, yeah. well. He probably carries that in his pocket. Sure. You know, I mean, he just did the big WWE thing. I'm yeah. sure he got paid handsomely yeah. for that. So he's not worried about it. He'll make more. Um, but, yeah, that is that is kind of weird That because um, most guys don't take those out unless it's a special occasion. Exactly. But they got them in a safe or a safe deposit box that way they don't lose them. So, uh, but it, what I love about Jason Kelsey especially, he didn't give a damn. Yeah. I mean, that guy's just like going through life enjoying, you know, whatever rolls his way. And I love that. It's uh... – Different world. I'd be beside myself if I'd lost the Super Bowl ring. Well, if, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, that's true. <laughs> but if I did. Just take that off your mind right now. If I did. But then again, I also wouldn't be rolling around wrestling in a batch of Skyline Chili either. <laughs> Big news today out of Virginia that could be a game changer in college athletics. Interesting story. We'll dive into it next here on the Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Hey, what are you doing this weekend? You going to play a little golf? Well, let me suggest the Golf Club of Texas. Look, if you haven't been out to the Golf Club of Texas lately, you haven't been out to the Golf Club of Texas. It is completely different. 
and I mean different by upgraded. They have done a lot of work out there, sunk a lot of money into that golf course. New golf cart paths are going in as we speak. They have sodded that golf course as well. It is beautiful, not to mention the views when you're out there are simply fantastic. But it's not just the golf out there. They have the 10 Cup restaurant uh, that is just fabulous. In fact, it is the best sit-down restaurant in that part of San Antonio, and it's not going to break the bank to take the family out to eat. And if you're thinking ahead to Mother's Day, get this. The Golf Club of Texas, they're going to have a Mother's Day brunch. May 12th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., chicken and waffles, French toast, scrambled eggs, bacon, all the works, $4 mimosas, $12 a bottle that's a heck of a deal. The Golf Club of Texas, give them a call out there. Make your reservations, 210-504-2550. That's the number to call. Make your reservations. Treat mom to a Mother's Day brunch at the Golf Club of Texas right there off Briggs Ranch Road off Highway 90. You know the Golf Club of Texas, the friendliest golf course in Texas. It's the 2024 NFL Draft on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. We're the 24th pick. The Dallas Cowboys select. April 25th, 26th, and 27th. Join 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star for this year's NFL Draft. Live from Detroit. I love the tenacity and the aggression with which he plays. He is a mauler. Who do the Cowboys and Texans pick? Does Jerry make a splash? Who goes number one? And who's the next Mr. Irrelevant? The Houston Texans select C.J. Stroud. I don't know if we'll pass on the guy you ought to be taking, dude, but still be position slip. I thought Sauce Gardner would be the first corner, but you go back to 2019, and that version of Derek Stingley is as good as anybody in this entire draft class. Find out right here on your exclusive home for the NFL Draft. 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star. If you need bold banners to boost your business, but you're on a budget, think Staples. Posters, flyers, signs, and menus for less? Think Staples. Staples can print anything you need to move your business forward. Now at Staples, save $50 on your print purchase of $150 or more. Same day service available on hundreds of items if you order by noon. And all backed by Staples Print Perfect Guarantee. So it's done right or it's printed again free. Staples, your local print and marketing expert. And 6-1, visit staples.com slash print for details. I love springtime, the sunshine, the longer days, but I don't love stressing about outfits for all of our plans. Between brunches, showers, and spring break, we need looks that keep up and savings that keep it under budget. That's where Kohl's comes in. I scored 25% off dresses for myself, and with the 50% off going on, I got my daughter a dress for under 22 bucks, plus I earned Kohl's cash. So if you want a stress-free spring too, shop at Kohl's. Select styles. Some exclusions apply. Women's dresses, coupons do not apply. Offers end April 21st. See store or Kohl's.com for details. Moments like my daughter telling me a new joke mean a lot to me. But after being diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, or MBC, which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of the body, they mean even more. I take Ibrance, Palpocyclib. Ibrance 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor is for adults with HR positive HER2 negative NBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Ask your doctor about Ibrance and visit Ibrance.com. Ibrance may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Ibrance may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Ibrance, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Guys, did you know your testosterone affects everything in your system, including how you feel and perform every day? Right now, Revive Men's Health San Antonio will check your testosterone for free. Knowing your T levels is the first step in understanding if you have low T. Your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED. Maintaining an appropriate T level can change your whole life. Most men start to see changes in their hormone levels in their 30s. Experience and results matter. So what are you waiting for? Get your T levels checked today by local, experienced, and trusted men's health experts. They've helped thousands of men since 2011. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. 
Call Revive today and schedule your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation. Call Revive Men's Health at 210-615-7777. That's 210-615-7777. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. Do you have three ex-wives and your current trophy wife wants a life insurance policy three times the size of the policies you had to purchase for your previous mistakes? If so, you need to call Big Lou at Term Provider, 800 230-2777. Big Lou is intimately familiar with your problems, and if you're 50 or 60 years old and in reasonably good health, a $1 million policy should only cost about $100 to $200 per month. Big Lou may have a solution for your previous policies as well. You may even save enough money to lighten the load on your new $1 million policy. Remember, call Big Lou. He's like you, except he's only on number two. Call Term Provider at 800-230-2777. That's 800-230-2777. For a million dollars in term life insurance that you can live with, call Big Lou at 800-230-2777. 800-230-2777. It's the Morning Huddle with Rob Thompson and RJ Ochoa. Friday on the Morning Huddle, we are getting set for play in action. Plus... A week from Friday, the Dallas Cowboys should have a new member of their team. So will most squads around the NFL. Who will they be? What order will they come? We are going to do our best to predict the future. And while I'm predicting the future, Joe, I heard a rumor that you might be there on Friday. Can you confirm or deny? I'll be there on Friday. Yeah? Well, I don't know when, but yeah. I'll be there. Yeah. Not early, I can promise you no, that. No, I won't be early. <laughs> We're taste the north side. Uh, I won't be early. But I'll be there. Now, RJ and I are going to kind of uh, guest with each other tomorrow. You're out. Rob's out. So I'm going to sit in with RJ in the morning for a little while, and he's going to sit in with me in the afternoon for a little while. I- I'm going to guess you're going to be on after 8 o'clock. Uh, it will be 8 o'clock is what we oh, have uh, okay. have settled on. Uh, I'm going to take this nice fancy equipment to my house <laughs> and get up in my, my skivvies and do a little radio. Maybe I'll even turn on the YouTube for all you lucky devils. Well, I mean, you could do that. I, yeah. I, I, I was in, uh, well, I had on a T-shirt and uh, shorts this morning. Yeah. 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 I mean. Well, maybe I'll sleeve the T-shirt off. I mean, just give everybody a thrill. <laughs> Is that against FCC regulations? <laughs> it's not. I mean, there's guys that have done shirtless radio before. Uh, I won't Generally, be one of Generally, they're guys that aren't embarrassed to take off their shirt. Well, I'm not. I mean, you oh, know. You should I, be. I work out. Uh, <laughs> why, why did your voice crack as you said you that? Remember you could, that? You, you remember could that have song? sounded less manly saying you work out. Do you remember that song? I work out. No. No, please. Glad you remember that song. I work out. Yes. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> It was bad. So you never know. Tune in tomorrow morning, and uh, it could be shirtless Joe. That is quite a tease. <laughs> yes, it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so the state of Virginia. Oh, it, before we get into that, Taste of the North Side. That is where we are right now. Yes, it is. Doors open at 6 o'clock tonight. I just asked during the commercial break, are they sold out yet? And I was told, almost. 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 So... You want to get that last minute ticket? They're still available. Get them. Taste of the North Side dot org. It's a bucket list event. I mean, seriously, you need to come out here and, and experience this. It's uh, it's 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 unlike any other Fiesta event that you'll go to uh, during Fiesta. It's incredible. So today in the state of Virginia, a new law was passed that will take effect July first. That going to college football or college athletics. It will change. Very similar to what we saw years ago when California changed a law and that created and opened the floodgates for NIL. What they did today in the state of Virginia, uh, they, they became the first state to make it illegal for the NCAA to punish a school for compensating athletes for their NIL rights. Current NCAA rules prohibit schools from signing their NIL deals. So that's why you hear collectives and coaches say that they're not allowed to do this or offer money for that. Um, Basically, 
the administrators from the University of Virginia took a leading role in crafting the legislation that will help colleagues at and with colleagues from Virginia Tech to uh, basically say that universities in Virginia can basically pay athletes. It doesn't have to go through a collective. Now, there's some tricky legal words in here because they are not employees of the school. Uh, schools in Virginia are still not allowed to pay athletes for their performance, but the universities can pay them for things like marketing campaigns. Yes, I think it's a great idea. And, uh, y you know, Virginia, props to them for coming through with some. And look, the NCAA is not going to be happy about this. But as far as I'm concerned, the, N the NCAA can go jump in a lake. I'm seriously, because they're the ones that have started this whole debacle that we're into now because they had no balls. Yes, they had none of them. Uh, and, and so that's where the, the reason we're in the situation we're in. What this will do, though, Jason, if other states follow through, and I hope they do because everybody's got to be on the same page. You have to be. It's professional sports, whether it's football, basketball, baseball, whatever it is, it turns from amateur to professional, and I'm all for it. Well, it is the professionalization of college sports. Now, the idea of this law being passed in Virginia isn't really – to give Virginia a leg up on all the other universities in all the other states. The quote from the athletic director at the University of Virginia, her name is Carla Williams. She said, quote, if this law gets us closer to a federal or a national solution for college athletics, then it will be more than worthwhile. Until then, we have an obligation to ensure we maintain an elite athletics program at UVA. And when you think about all these programs, and no matter what you think about uh, Virginia or Virginia Tech, they all still like believe they've got a chance. And Virginia has been the first state that says, all right, what can we do to separate ourselves in the meantime to try to compete with all these other big universities with all this big money? We'll just pay the guys ourselves. Now, again, they're not employees. And credit Virginia for finding every loophole they can and write those into a law and then pass a law because while none of us want any more federal government involved, there does need to be some sort of federal guidelines that everybody is playing by the same set of rules, just like California thought, all right, you know what we're going to do? We're going we're gonna to pay players. And now everybody does. Now everybody is going to have another situation like this until everybody is on the uh, same page. That's a fascinating article because apparently six other states have same the same uh, stuff that that is going to go for a vote or, or pending legislation, I guess. But it's different because they're saying if, if the NCAA adopts this you know, nationwide, then they're in and they will do that. Now, I will – all due respect to Charlie Baker, the NCAA, he has proposed that schools be able to do exactly what Virginia uh, is enacting, but they're just dragging their feet, and I'm not sure why. Maybe this new law now will spur them along to get this thing done, and, and let's get on track and call this what it is. It's professional sports. Let's go and, and move forward and, and treat it as such. Well, and, and again, when you look at, you know, and I get uh, – I don't get, I don't completely understand all of this above my pay grade, but if they're employees, then you look at benefits and all the other things that come with it, and they don't want to do that. Uh, so there are ways that you can pay people uh, without them, uh, you know, technically being employees. Although universities employ thousands of students. Sure. Just, I don't know why student athletes can't fall under the same guidelines with the exception of long-term health care because if you're work at, working in the bookstore you're on the orientation team or something like that chances of you needing knee surgery or a shoulder surgery uh -huh. or getting a concussion or slim to none and if you're an employee and you get hurt while you're at work then those universities would be on the hook for the medical expenses for years to come and i think that ultimately is what they are trying to avoid 
Well, they need to get it done. And, I, and props to Virginia. I, I will give them all the credit in the world. And I hope this spurs uh, the other states. I hope it spurs the NCAA and everybody else to get a handle on this. Make it fair for everybody. Now, in that article, they did talk about Title IX. They're going to have some issues with that. Is everybody going to have to be compensated the exact same? Or can you have some people making more money than others? That's going to have to come into play. So uh, a lot of things still to work out. But at least Virginia has the ball rolling, and uh, and I'm happy about that. And Title IX is a, a big factor why universities don't want to do this because you get those in revenue-generating sports that are going to make more than those typically in non-revenue-generating sports. And you, it, it, can you say, can the you know, shot put, whether it's female or male uh, person, make the same as a quarterback? Yeah, probably not. And and that's where NIL guys can still go out and kind of muster up their own. Or, and I think they can do this. There, there's so many rules and they always seem to change. And this is where the term guidelines comes in. Can a coach say, all right, we've got this pot of money in our collective. This guy needs this. This guy needs that. This guy's family's okay. Give him this. So he's got a little something. But this guy really needs help. Give him some over there. Um, how much and, and maybe that's already happening, uh, although technically is it supposed to, but how much can they say direct these funds here? Uh, well, that's interesting because, look, you're going to have people that are going to come up and say, look, I'm a, I don't know, a, a, a swimmer, and I'm not making as much money as the quarterback of the football team. Yep. So you're going to have to work through all of that as well, and there's going to be some obvious jealousy. But, look, if, if it starts just with college football, and something like this, if you, you could do that, I think that's where you start and you work that out, turn that into a professional sports league, and then you can deal with the rest after that. But football is the generator, the money generator. Let's get that taken care of first and then move forward. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star Live at, at Taste of the North Side. Doors open at 6 o'clock tonight here at the Security Service Event Center. Tickets are still available, very few, so snatch them up and get out here on this Thursday night. You got nothing better to do. No. You got nothing better to do. There's, you'll be talking about this event for days. Yeah, there's no basketball on tonight. There nope. will be tomorrow, minus a couple of stars. We'll talk about it coming up here on the Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. When you need an electrician, you know Hill Electric is available to you 24-7 for residential and commercial needs. I've used Hill Electric for a variety of projects at my house through the years. They do fantastic work and have for over three decades. The family-owned Hill Electric has served San Antonio homes and businesses. And whatever your project is, Hill Electric does have the right service at the right price. Never a service charge, always free estimates. So call Hill Electric, 210-404-9074. 404-9074, or go online at hill-electric.com. It's the Morning Huddle with Rob and RJ. Friday on the Morning Huddle, we're looking ahead to tonight's play-in games. The final two playoff spots are going to be taken. Plus, the NHL playoffs start this weekend. There's a lot going on. We're going to get into it, so make sure you meet us at 6 a.m. The Morning Huddle gets going. We'll see you there. It's the Morning Huddle with Rob and RJ. Morning, 6 to 10 on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. If you get arrested, get out of jail fast by calling AA Best Bail Bonds, 210-225-2121. Text BAIL to 474747 or online at mybestbailbonds.com. You don't have to call attorneys or anybody else. Don't be forced into a PR bond. If the jail offers you one, make sure you understand the conditions before accepting it. AA Best Bail Bonds, nobody beats their price. They have payment plans. Call 210-225-2121 or mybestbailbonds.com. License number 149. We all expect our home to protect everything we love. But here in Texas, we don't expect the ways water is breaking down our foundations and damaging our homes. Cracks in walls and uneven floors are just a few signs your foundation is shifting. But there's one way to get answers to all your concerns. A free home inspection from Foundation Support Specialists. Make sure your investment is protected. Get your free inspection at foundationsupportspecialists.com. 
Injuries happen, and when they do, skip the ER and get to the OrthoNow Injury Clinic by TSAOG Orthopedics and Spine. OrthoNow provides walk-in care for injuries like broken bones, dislocation, sprains, and strains. Conveniently located in the Cory area with extended hours Monday through Saturday with on-site x-ray casting and bracing, OrthoNow has everything you need to treat your injury, and best of all, no urgent care or emergency room copay. Learn more online at TSAOG.com. Hey, baseball fans, go yard with BetMGM, the king of sportsbooks. All season long, we're offering top odds on your favorite home run bets, shared 50K Grand Slam jackpots, fast and convenient ways to play same-game parlays, special boosts and tokens, and so much more. From the first pitch to the game-winning fireworks, there are more ways than ever to supercharge your excitement. Whether you want to combine multiple bets for the chance at a bigger payout or place a live bet as the game unfolds, BetMGM has all the home run betting options you could need. Download the BetMGM app, head to the ballpark, and get your P of MLB action. BetMGM is an official partner of Major League Baseball. See BetMGM.com for terms. 21 years of age or older. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. For New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY. For Arizona, call 1-800-NEXT-STEP. For Massachusetts, 1-800-327-5050. For Iowa, 1-800-BETS-OFF. For Puerto Rico, 1-800-981-0023. For West Virginia, visit www.1800gambler.net in partnership with Kansas Crossing Casino and hotel this is jim rome join me weekdays at noon on my new home 94.1 san antonio sports star it is the blitz here on 94.1 san antonio sports star he's joe ryan eagle i'm jason i'm gonna climb at a taste of the north side here at security service event center i-10 1604 right by utsa boulevard Fight the construction and get over here tonight. Tickets are still available. Absolutely. You know what's kind of cool? We're sitting here inside the uh, event center. But you look right outside, they've got a courtyard out here. with, uh-huh. uh, And the view is unbelievable. I mean, you, it's kind of up on a hill. You can see pretty much forever. It's a great spot. Second it is. year, the taste of the north side has been here. I've only been to this event center for, uh, well, this is my second time. I was here last year. And right. The, the setting is spectacular. With uh, views of San Antonio, you don't normally get. I mean, hell, I didn't know this was here until we we showed up last year, and it's spectacular. So uh, get out here and uh, take advantage of the best Fiesta event, my favorite Fiesta event. Joe will buy you a beer out here. Absolutely. Or if you want something stronger, I'll buy that. Yeah. I'll even buy dinner. Will you? Sure. Will you get me a cookie? Absolutely. A pazuki? I don't know if I can get you a pazuki, but I'll get you a cookie. All right. We'll have to check with this guy over here. Yeah, he'll make sure we get cookies. Yeah, all I right. think we're going to be well fed being right next to uh, BJ's Brew House. Yeah, I don't. Well, uh, I think and you got Eddie and Eddie and, 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 and Lucy and, Cooper's is over there. I mean, there's there, uh, gosh, everything you could imagine. And it's it's good stuff. And they've lot, got a, lots of tequila here. The uh, tequila. They got a bunch of beer over there. Yeah. See that? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to be well taken care of. Uh, I mean, there's a reason it's my favorite. Yes, PSA yes, event. yes. That that is for sure. Um. I saw your boy Vinny Vincetta last night tweet that he wasn't enjoying the play-in tournament. Really? And I thought, I don't get it. I, I'm not. I wasn't a fan of the play-in tournament when they designed it, I, and it started in the bubble, and then the first year after, it was just like, all right, you know, if you're not good enough, you're not good enough. But it has been a lot of fun the last couple of nights watching competitive basketball uh-huh, uh-huh. i mean that that sixers game last night man was great basketball well the fourth quarter was fabulous and and so when you think about and, and maybe it's just because we haven't seen good competitive basketball in san antonio games that mean something in a long time but in the it's not single elimination format but it does have that winner go home feel to it and you felt that last night uh, the second game, you know, not as much, but and then you look at tomorrow night's play in games, you, you've got Zion's going to miss it and Jimmy Butler's going to miss. And, and so, you know, it's there. My only problem with the play in tournament is. I have a problem with sub 500 teams having a chance at the playoffs. You know, it's it's like in high school football, seeing a four and six or three and seven team make the playoffs because they're fourth place in their district. Um, that said, you look this year in the East, 
you wouldn't have had a play-in tournament. You would have just had one through eight because the uh, nine and ten were both below 500. Although in the West, everybody that was in the play-in is above 500. Yeah, but uh, look, and and this is not a knock on the Cowboys. All you're going to do that uh, uh, when oh. they played Tampa Bay. Yeah, Tampa Bay had a losing record. I mean, it happens in the NFL as well. In the playoffs, I'm talking about when Tom Brady was there and they sent Tom home. Yeah, the the Tampa Bay Bucks had a losing record. They didn't have a winning record. And, so, and they had home field because they won their division. Exactly right. Uh, so I I don't really uh, that doesn't bother me so much. What what bothers me about tomorrow is that we're going to see two teams that aren't going to be at full strength. Yeah, no Zion Williamson for New Orleans, and then Jimmy Butler uh, really hurt his knee. And, the, and give the guy props; he tried to keep playing. I mean, and he did. Uh, but yeah, he's out for at least a couple of weeks and I would imagine he's probably going to be healing a lot longer than that. So, so those, the little bit of the shine has been taken off those games for me tomorrow night because of that fact. Not, not, not a, a little bit of shine, uh, to me, a lot of shine has, uh, is gone off of those games tomorrow night because, you know, you look at Sacramento and New Orleans. New Orleans swept Sacramento this year. Yeah. But Sacramento will go on the road, go down to New Orleans. But without Zion, I don't think anybody should give New Orleans much of a chance to win that game and actually make the playoffs. When you look at uh, Miami to to go in without Jimmy Butler, and Miami is the one team in the play-in circuit, especially in the East, because of what you see from Jimmy Buckets in the postseason where you feel like, you know, if they get in, they could do something. But if Jimmy Butler is now going to miss several weeks, um, they're not going to do anything, and they're not going to get in. Well, and, and and that's a good thing. And I hope New Orleans doesn't get in either. Now, look, I'm not saying Chicago's going to set the world on fire, you know, once they get into the playoffs or um, or Sacramento even, for that matter, although I think Sacramento's a little bit better team than, than their record indicates. But, um, you know, just imagine if, if Miami would have gone on and beat Philadelphia last night and, you know, have to go up against – who's his number two seed in the East? Um New York? The, the Knicks. Well, New York gets Philly. Right. Now yeah. they get Philly. But I'm saying if Miami would have won oh, that yeah. game last night, going into that series against the Knicks without Jimmy Butler, um, it, it probably would have been an ugly series. Now Philadelphia, you gotta be you got to be afraid of them. With Joel Embiid back and healthy, I think that's a team that, that is primed to do something from where they're going into the playoffs. And, and that's when I look at the East and you try to pick. I, I don't trust any of those teams. I like the Knicks. I don't trust them. And I think they get the worst matchup that, yeah, you know, of all the teams that the Knicks wanted to face, uh, Philly is probably the one that they don't. Uh, Boston will end up getting Chicago. Um, Milwaukee, uh, you just wonder with, with Giannis not available, at least at the beginning of this series, will Indiana give him a run? I, I, don't yes. know who to, I don't know who to pick in the East right now. I'll probably go Boston or New York, uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if Philly upsets New York in the first round. Wouldn't surprise me a bit. I think Boston is is clearly head and shoulders above everybody else. The problem with Boston is, and again, I got love, go. they're very Dallas-like. You get into the postseason, and, you know, sometimes they don't play up to what you think they should play up to. So that that's always a, a scenario. Look, I'm still a Western Conference guy. I really don't give a damn about the East, honestly. I like the West. I'm just me since I've got no dog in the fight. I, I'm, I'm rooting for Oklahoma City, man. I like Shea Gilgis Alexander. That guy is a stud, and uh, I hope they make some noise this year. Well, and you would, you would, you would think that they should be able to make some noise. Um, and I like them. Denver looks like a team, although that loss to the Spurs took them out of the one seed. Yeah. Um, so the Spurs have that going for them. They they screwed up some of these postseason plans, but I think Denver is going to be tough out. I still like Phoenix, and that was my preseason pick, so I'm going to ride at Phoenix. But yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't go put a lot of money on Phoenix making it to the NBA Finals this year. But I, I in Oklahoma City falls in that boat. You know, I don't have a dog in the fight either, obviously, as a Spurs fan. So I always do like to root for a team that's never won one before. It was cool watching Denver get that first championship last year. I would like to see Phoenix, a, a city 
and my daughter lives there and you know all that kind of stuff uh you know they just lost their hockey team you know they've never won a title it'd be kind of cool to see them uh get there and what the other thing though is you start you talk about individual legacy i found it interesting this morning conversation on first take about kevin durant and his legacy his two titles he joined a super team and got two so he does have two and tim legler was saying not all rings are equal and, oh. <laughs> and, and you know, I, there is a little bit of truth to that, I, I guess. I mean, I suppose. He, he will always be a two-time champion, but there was a, a, a interesting tweet article the other day that I saw, you know, talking about Steph Curry without Kevin Durant. And Steph's got a couple of rings, but, you know, all these teams are hurt. And that's why they were able to to, to win. And, and he hasn't done much without Kevin Durant. And I'm thinking, nah, Kevin Durant, what has he done without Steph Curry? And you and I were having that conversation yes. in the office. <laughs> but, you know, listening to Leckler today, individually, Kevin Durant needs a title more than anybody currently playing right now on his own. And and when you think about individual legacy, yes, he is a two-time champion, a two-time finals MVP. But then when Legler dropped, not all rings are created equal. I thought, that's interesting. You know, I, I thought about that for, well, for quite a while. Does Legler have a ring? I don't know. No. He's just jealous. I don't buy that. Look, you win or you or you don't. You can't determine. Well, if you join a super team, you join a super team. Hell, LeBron James, uh, do, do, does his ring with Miami count? That was a super team. Well, it counts. It's just not the same. Oh, and, come on. And, and Legler brought this up. His ring that he won in Cleveland is a lot more meaningful than the than the rings that he got in Miami. See, I don't. I just don't see it that way. I don't see it that way at all. I mean, I, I just don't because, look, it, it, you win a ring, you win a ring. and It doesn't matter what your team is or if it's a super team, if it's not. I, I just don't I, I don't buy into that. I just think Legler is, is got something to – I just think he's jealous. I don't know that he's jealous. He's jealous. But, and, and you're right. A champion is a champion, and you have that ring, and you get to experience that – individual high um but we we knocked kevin durant when he joined a super team we all did um you know yes he won finals mvp yes he won championships but at the same time you had to go join a super team to do it he couldn't get it done in oklahoma city they were they were close um well, he, geez, he had James Harden and, and Westbrook. Well, and no, those I mean, guys, you know, <laughs> they're a detriment to anybody. I mean, they, but they, they got to a finals. They knocked uh, us, the Spurs, out of a Western Conference finals. That was a good group. They ultimately couldn't get it done. And you look at first round exits, no conference finals appearances for Kevin Durant since he left uh, Golden State. You know, pairing up with Kyrie in, in Brooklyn, and everybody thought that was going to be an unbeatable team, yet they never got it done. Kevin Durant never got it done with Brooklyn. No, he didn't. And, but, I mean, they've got some talent there in, in Phoenix. I mean, that's not a team where it's just Kevin Durant riding all by himself. They've got some talent there. I I, I don't know. I just don't buy it. And judging from our, our YouTube comments, everybody agrees with you. And I don't understand it. So, so if LeBron James or Kevin Durant's rings, so you put one higher on a shelf than the other, how are you going to determine or tell somebody, oh, this ring really doesn't mean anything because, well, I was on a super team. All right. This one over here, because I was in Cleveland, that means – that's the most ridiculous statement I've ever heard. All right, well, let me ask you this. Do you have a favorite Spurs title run? Do I have a favorite? Yes, I do. Well, how can you have a favorite when you've got five that should all be equal? They are equal. Oh. But experiencing them, I think the, the toughest road for them was 2005. Me too. That was a very – and that final series with Detroit was spectacular. I mean, that was just spectacular. But, I mean, they all have memories. 99 has great memories. 03 has great memories. Uh, 07 and then 13 and 14 have, you know, different kinds of memories. Uh, but they all have great memories. And not one of those rings should mean any more to, uh, you know, the, the big three than anybody else. Although 99, the uh, Tony and Monty weren't there. But 
of before they won together. Yes. I mean, they, they should all matter the same. You won a championship. You were the last team standing. That's difficult to do. So I don't know what Legler's trying to say, but I think that's, to me, is just a ridiculous statement. It's a championship. It's a championship. The only one that doesn't matter, and and Miguel Martinez in our YouTube is the damn bubble championship. Now that one, <laughs> well, it's a champion. Now that one should be placed in a gum machine for everybody to to have a piece of. I see. Now again, though, everybody played the under the same circumstances, just like when Phil tried to throw an asterisk on the '99 championship because it was only 50 games. Everybody was in the same boat. Nobody had any easier of a path than anybody else. So you won a championship. Uh, and I, I credit the guys in the bubble championship a lot more. It was weird. It's different. But the fact that they went through that, went through all the the circumstances, and I want to say sacrifices, although they were living pretty good <laughs> yes, uh, and, a, and a lot better compared to what um, – um, what the rest of us were dealing with during COVID, but they all had to go through it and deal with it and still win a championship. So I don't discount the championship, but you do look at it a little bit different. The only championship if that I jealous, can, I completely discount is the stupid in season tournament championship. Yes. That yes. one. I completely discount That's stupid. Although here in the first round, we're going to get the last year's defending champs against this year's, in season tournament champs, dude, you talk about uh, being a fanboy of the Denver Nuggets. I want them to just crush LeBron and the Lakers so bad. I really do, and I'm just gonna do my, put my bias right out there. I I hate the Lakers. I really do. <laughs> I hate the Lakers, and it, it stems from a long road of, of playing those guys. Uh, respect, but I, I I'd really like to see them get swept. I'd be down with that. I'd like to see him get swept. And honestly, and I know, you know, predictions will come tomorrow, I suppose, but uh, I'd say five. I, I might give him one, but I, I, I could also see uh, Denver in three. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I mean, you know, I, I, I mean, it, 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 it's going to be an ugly, bad matchup series. I hope so. Yeah, I really do. I hope so. And, and I hope the Nuggets just roll them. Well, and one of the other things that we should learn in the next coming days are the postseason award winners and defensive player of the, <coughs> of the year. Um, will it end up in San Antonio? Will Wemby end up winning the award? And I find it fascinating. Um, those that have posted their ballots, Wemby is on some that I've seen, number one, as people have voted. Some... He's not even on the ballot. Now, I'd love for him to win. If I had a vote, I would not vote for Wemby to win Defensive Player of the Year because I don't think an award like that should go to somebody that played on a team that had 22 all wins this year. He's a rookie. It's I have, just an unwritten rule that well, rookies don't win Defensive Player of the Year. See, I, I, I don't give a damn about that. I do. I give a damn it's about tradition. I give a damn about wins, and he didn't win enough to deserve that kind of honor. He was on with uh, uh, on the uh, JJ uh, podcast, uh, JJ Reddick, and was asked his thoughts on the defensive player of the year race. Or he he wasn't. I guess we're not going to look more into the the games and the stats. But it's um, it's I, I know it's close, definitely. And um, but the first thing that comes to mind for me. When I when I hear that, like the two that the two front runners are him and I, it's uh I mean I'm, I'm glad we're you know I'm glad for friends that this is happening you know because it's it's huge. Well, yeah, I mean, he's going to get his share. Uh, there's no question about it. He may win the next I don't know ten, uh, you know, in a row. It, it's possible with the way that young man plays, and so, but. It, he shouldn't win it this year. Keep that. Tr I love that. No rookie should be able to win the defensive player of the year. Well, then it should be in the rules that he can't even be voted on. I think it's ridiculous to say he shouldn't win just because he's a rookie. I don't think it's ridiculous to say Dude, your team sucked. So <laughs> you can't win deep player. Change the win loss column. It 
will in future years. And what I do worry about Wimby is you say he could win the next 10. And I think we all feel that way. Is it going to come to a point with winning that award? He's going to get it so often that people are going to just want to vote for somebody else. They're going to have Wimby fatigue when it comes to defensive player of the year. And quite frankly, while I think he could win that award for the next 10 years, I also think in the not too distant future, he's going to be in the MVP conversation oh, there's no on question. an annual basis. Yes. There's no doubt about that. That that young man's going to have a case full of trophies by the time his career is over. So I'm not worried about that, but it's just this year that, you know, be happy with the rookie of the year award. That's you're going to get that. That's going to happen and uh get ready for next year. Yeah. Wemby on the uh, Ringer podcast with uh, Kevin O'Connell will have more on what Wemby had to say as that podcast dropped earlier today as we continue here on The Blitz on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star Live at the Security Service Event Center for Taste of the North Side. Hey, let me tell you about Parkhurst New Vision. One of the best things that I love about social media, and when I look on social media and I see all the posts about happy patients of Parkhurst New Vision, uh, it, it's it's fantastic because I am a part of that community. A very happy patient of Parkhurst New Vision had I, lens replacement surgery about a year ago, and I tell you what, it is just uh, it changed my life completely. And so I'm really happy to sing their praises. Doctor Parkhurst and his talented staff of doctors over there are just incredible and they can do the same thing for you you can become a member of the happy social media community and more importantly you're going to be able to see a heck of a lot better than you do now all you have to do is take that first step and call parkhurst new vision 210-585-2020 you can also check them out online at san antonio lasik.com when you give them a call you schedule your consultation let them know that i sent you will you do that joe ryan eagle from the blitz and then let them explain the process you ask all your questions and i guarantee you're going to walk out there feeling very comfortable about what they're going to be able to do for you and your vision. Parkhurst New Vision. Don't wait. Let them do for you what they've done for me. Give them a call. 210-585-2020. This is The Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons 2 to 6, KTFM, Floresville. And everywhere at sasportstar.com. With Spring Black Friday savings at the Home Depot, you can get up to $1,000 off select laundry appliances from top brands like LG, America's most reliable line of appliances. And with convenient shopping in-store and online, you can get new appliances with smart, intuitive features any way you want. Like a new LG wash combo all-in-one that can run a full load in under two hours. Right now, get $1,000 off select laundry appliances with Spring Black Friday savings in-store and online at the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Oh, I can't believe tax season is here already. But look at all this info I have to enter. Phil's small accounting firm is growing in numbers. Why didn't I take that typing class in high school? A data entry specialist could really help him in a crunch. I got blisters on my fingers. Indeed can help him hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. You can schedule and conduct virtual interviews all from your employer dashboard. Visit indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. Wouldn't it be great if life came with remote control? You know, you could hit pause when you needed to or hit rewind. Like that time you knocked down that wasp's nest. Uh oh. Well, life doesn't always give you time to change the outcome. But pre-diabetes does. With early diagnosis and a few healthy changes, you can stop pre-diabetes before it leads to type 2 diabetes. To learn your risk, take the one-minute test today at doihaveprediabetes.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and its pre-diabetes awareness partners. Tyler from Wendy's here. The best part of Wendy's new Cinnabon pull-apart is every part. Unlike mornings, which have no good parts. Until now. Because with Wendy's new breakfast Cinnabon pull-apart, mornings finally don't completely suck. And now that mornings have warm cinnamon sugar rolled dough and ooey gooey frosting, are they the best part of every day? Probably not, but you get the idea. Get to Wendy's today and get the best part in every bite with the new Cinnabon Pull Apart. I participate in U.S. Wendy's Cinnabon is a registered trademark of Cinnabon franchise or SPD. Heart Royal Flush Tour 2024. May 1st, Frostbank Center. A journey through the hits and timeless classics. The icon. Guest Cheap Trick. Surrender, surrender. Take a 
that's on sale now at heart-music.com. Don't miss two Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees, Heart with Cheap Trick, live. Sadly, statistics show that one out of every three women in the U.S. will encounter physical abuse from an intimate partner and violence against children persist. Christie's Hope strives to overcome domestic violence by providing critical financial support to shelters that offer housing, healing, and preventative measures. Thomas J. Henry proudly collaborates with Christie's Hope in the shared mission to end domestic violence and empower victims. Join us in building a legacy of hope. Donate today at christieshope.org. You're listening to 941 San Antonio, San Antonio Sports Star. Sports Center. Well, the NBA playoffs are continuing, and they will continue on Friday, but there's a little bit of an asterisk uh, to the Friday night action. Of course, uh, we've got some players out. Zion Williamson is out for the New Orleans Pelicans, and, of course, Jimmy Butler will not be available for the Miami Heat. Kind of adds a little bit of a damper to the NBA play-in games. Joe Reinagel. That's the third time in seven seasons. The San Antonio Spurs are the NBA champions. Jason Minix. They go back to big day as Super Bowl champions. Dallas 52, Buffalo 17. It's the Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Reinagel. I'm Jason Minix. We are live at Taste of the North Side at the Security Service Event Center. They're Two getting close. away. Yeah, they're getting Doors close. open. Man. And everybody is, uh, well, some, some of these booths are already ready to go, some not. But they will be come 6 o'clock. You know, it's amazing, these strategic load-in times. You know you're at a well-oiled machine event when you see how people come in and they're getting stuff done and you load in this time, you load in that time. Uh, bowl and barrel is going to be to our left as we're sitting here and they're getting their backdrop together. Um, you think we'll be able to bowl? Uh, no, 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 no bowling. Uh, I mean, like those I mean, fake I mean, pins or I mean, anything. Maybe we they, can, they can set up can... some pins and all the people have had a couple of drinks yeah, and then was... roll a bowling ball in there and see how many people you can knock over. We... That, that that's an that's a that that's an activity that's at like after eight thirty nine o'clock at night. Well, we could go to Walmart and get one of those little bowling sets. And, well, and why would you go to Walmart when and... we're right next to Bowl and Barrel? They have that stuff. Well, they do, but th- do y'all have it here? No. Well, that's uh, what I'm saying. Well, I, again. No, if you've been over there, they, they got great food and drink. No, and, I agree. And, and then you I might have. bowl, right? I mean, I, I don't think they're here to inter- encourage people to bowl. They they want people to eat. And, well, when I see, drink, when I hear you know see bowl and barrel, I think of bowling, right? I mean, you do along with yeah. the good food and drink. Yes. Uh huh. You a bowler? I bowl better after I've had many drinks. <laughs> well, you, everybody you know, does. That 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 second game, that third game. That that's when things either get better or you're at the I don't give a damn part and, uh-huh. and you're just having fun. Yes. Yes. See, it, it should be called bowl and barrel with buckets, you know, because you get a bucket of beer at your lane and you just have a good time. Well, you get anything. You got a full bar there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can get whatever you, you want to do that. But sure. I mean, you're a beer guy. I get bowl that. and barrel and buckets. You know, the, the, the triple B's ah, as I opposed see. to the double uh-huh. B's. See, uh-huh. the, the, the name kind of kind of goes that way well th- this is cool it's just another one of the great uh restaurants bars that are here at the taste of the north side i like to watch these people set up everybody's working hard we just get to sit here and uh just yak and 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 watch everybody else work well see you know it, it, it's funny though because we say we you know we're watching all these people work you know, every one of these tables has two people really working and three people standing around watching. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> you got to have a supervisor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's exactly what it is. You know, it's kind of like us watching Greg Shelton set everything up. Yes, yes, and then take everything down. Uh, we never see, stick around to well, see him exactly. take anything down. Let's not lie to the people. Exactly. I mean, I've never seen tear down. <laughs> I mean, actually, we He been likes the, it better that way. We've been at the bar. And he'll be like, see you, boys. Oh, man, you, you need any help? No, I got it. Good. Yes. I used to ask. I don't even ask anymore. I don't ask. Well, I do ask nah, sometimes. Uh, not really. It's like today I showed up, and he was putting the last thing on the table, and he said, boy, you sh- thanks for, I don't know what you said. Boy, he's always got a smart-ass right. comment. But I said, oh, I guess I showed up just in time then. Because, see, 
and, and not to be arrogant, but I guess I will be. Why the hell not? Because I mean, you are. We're, we're talent. When we come in, we sit down and, and be talent. Yes. <laughs> Oh, uh, if you could see the looks I'm getting from Greg Shelton. Well, it's not just Greg <laughs> Shelton. I can only imagine the laughter people are, uh, are, 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 are having right now in their cars. Well, it's talent. That's the term for it. I didn't make that up. You know, you radio TV, if you're on the air, that's, they call you talent. Yeah, it's true. Now, I'm not sure if it's if host, you know, personality. Host, yes, all of now, that stuff. I, 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 I will say, though, I mean... Nobody has it better when it comes to being a talent than our buddy Will Gavin from Talk Sport over in London. Yes. We see this guy. We call him the Brits, and he is the King Brit. This, he travels with a pack of generally five to seven guys, and he calls himself a radio presenter. That's the fancy-ass term they use over there in London. We're, we're a talk show host or a radio personality, right? That That's kind of the, the official term, right? He's a radio presenter. Yes. And when Will Gavin is doing his show, and I've only seen him do a show in London or in, in, at the Super Bowl, so I don't know what it's like in his studio, but I would imagine it's very similar. But he's he doesn't lift a finger, right? This guy... We'll be over talking and all this kind of stuff and BSing. And then it's time to do an interview. And he goes and sits down and literally his engineer puts headphones on his head. <laughs> wow. And, 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 and he adjusts and he talks. And when the interview is over and his name is Ollie, Ollie takes the headphones off his head. Wow. And I thought that's the damnedest thing. Man. Um, I, I, I mean, at what point? Do you think, well, and you remember he came on with us and he wasn't exactly sure how to put on his own headphones. He did, but I handed him headphones he's like, where, 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 you know, it's like, where's, where's the Ollie? headphones? And he's, he was looking at <laughs> it and, and I joked with him. I was like, you don't do that often, do you? And he was like, no, wow. it's, a, it's a union thing over there. That guy, Well, I get that. And, well, union, I get that. I mean, unions, and I'm glad this isn't a union town. Uh, but that is a union thing over there because Greg Shelton's given us the look like he would not. Yeah, it's like he, don't he, don't even he, think about he it. He would not. And I wouldn't even think to ask or expect, right? But you don't do it. I remember we were the first time we went to Army Navy game up in Philadelphia. And Chris and I were setting up all our own stuff. And I literally took a phone line and plugged it in a wall. And I felt like somebody dropped out of the ceiling to stop me because I wasn't allowed to do that without my union card. He had to take the phone line and run or the Internet, whatever it was, and put it in. And somebody else had to come and plug the extension cord in. Uh huh. And, man, that guy ran the sweetest-looking extension cord. It was straight, had all the fancy tape. It was perfect. It, it's never looked better. No offense, Greg. It has never looked better. But this guy would have three different heart attacks if he saw what Greg Shelton had going on right now, partly because, you know, of our turnover. And I'm literally surprised that Greg hasn't tried to clean things up since we've got things settled and rolling. It's the 2024 NFL Draft on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. With the 24th pick, the Dallas Cowboys select. April 25th, 26th, and 27th. Join 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star for this year's NFL Draft.
I love the tenacity and the aggression with which he plays. He is a mauler. Who do the Cowboys and Texans pick? Does Jerry make a splash? Who goes number one? And who's the next Mr. Irrelevant? The Houston Texans select C.J. Stroud. Uh, you don't ever want to pass on the guy you ought to be taking, dude, but still be position select. I thought Sauce Gardner would be the first corner, but you go back to 2019, and that version of Derek Stingley is as good as anybody in this entire draft class. Find out right here on your exclusive home for the NFL Draft. 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Check engine light on? Take the guesswork out of your check engine light with O'Reilly Veriscan. It's free and provides a report with solutions based on over 650 million vehicle scans verified by ASE certified master technicians. And if you need help, we can recommend a shop for you. Ask for O'Reilly Veriscan today. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Guys, did you know your testosterone affects everything in your system, including how you feel and perform every day? Right now, Revive Men's Health San Antonio will check your testosterone for free. Knowing your T levels is the first step in understanding if you have low T. Your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED. Maintaining an appropriate T level can change your whole life. Most men start to see changes in their hormone levels in their 30s. Experience and results matter. So what are you waiting for? Get your T-Levels checked today by local, experienced, and trusted men's health experts. They've helped thousands of men since 2011. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. Call Revive today and schedule your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation. Call Revive Men's Health at 210-615-7777. That's 210-615-7777. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. I love springtime. The sunshine, the longer days. But I don't love stressing about outfits for all of our plans. Between brunches, showers, and spring break, we need looks that keep up and savings that keep it under budget. That's where Kohl's comes in. I scored 25% off dresses for myself. And with the 50% off going on, I got my daughter a dress for under 22 bucks, plus iron Kohl's cash. So if you want a stress-free spring too, shop at Kohl's. Select styles. Some exclusions apply. Women's dresses, coupons do not apply. Offers end April 21st. See store or Kohl's.com for details. Are you a victim of the timeshare trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original timeshare cancellation expert. And I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free, explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call Wesley now for your free info kit, 800-881-4242. That's 800-881-4242. George gets justice. In life's most challenging moments, getting the right help matters most if you've been injured. Get George at George Salinas Injury Lawyers. With a track record of success and a dedication to their clients, George gets justice. George Salinas Injury Lawyers is not just a law firm. They're your support system. Get George at George Salinas Injury Lawyers today at 210-225-0909 or visit getgeorge.com. George gets justice. Getgeorge.com. Lowe's knows pros need the right tools for every job. That's why we sell the largest in-store selection of Klein tools anywhere. Find new items launching exclusively at Lowe's, like the self-leveling laser level for just $159.98. Plus, shop the Connect socket set for just $49.98. Get Klein tools in-store and online today, because Lowe's knows tools. Lowe's knows pros. Some people just know there's a better way to do things, like bundling your home and auto insurance with Allstate, or hiring someone to move your piano instead of doing it yourself. So do things the better way. Bundle home and auto and save up to 25%.
Bundled savings by state and are not available in every state. Saving up to 25% is the countrywide average of the maximum available savings off the home policy. All state vehicle and property insurance company and affiliates, Northbrook, Illinois. The Jim Rome Show. Hey, Jim Rome here. And back in the military city of San Antonio. Weekdays at noon on 94.1 San Antonio's Sports Star. Are we back? All right. It's amazing when things work. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Reinagel. I'm Jay Semenix. Am I back? I, I think you're back. I'm back. I, 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 I barely back. hear you. Is your mic plugged in? It is. Is it? It's plugged in. All right. So we, we, we should be go. Pledge, you hear Joe okay? You hear me, Pledge? Y'all sound great. All right. All right. Now, All right. We, we, we've lost our video feed. And I and I find it uh, comical that as we talked about taping down line, somebody kicked the line and uh, <laughs> things went south in a hurry. Uh, it, it happens that way. Um, sometimes when you're on location, you deal with gremlins, and that's why you have great engineers doing great things like we have with uh, Greg Shelton. So YouTube, I don't think we're on right now because the uh, wireless part has gone south on us, but uh, at least we're on the radio here as we're live at Taste of the North Side getting ready for the event which is about two hours away from opening at 4 14 gates open doors op- open at six o'clock here for the best fiesta event one of the things that you're going to hear in the main room and this is very cool I-, I enjoy watching dueling pianos and the the there's two pianos from howl at the moon set up on the main stage over there now right now only see one piano player and he seems to be tuning up both pianos but i'm sure with two pianos there will be two uh, piano players uh, a little bit later and the dueling pianos are always so much fun i love that those guys can do what they do whether it's howl at the moon or you know while it's not dueling at dirty nellies if you're on the river walk you got to go to dirty nellies uh there's a spot in vegas that we always find our way to those, uh, to me that's just some of the coolest stuff you can go do well that place in vegas at harris was a lot of fun yeah we went there during the super bowl that was a lot of fun um and yeah i i, I don't know oh okay i see what you're talking about a couple of uh, pianos over there okay awesome Looking forward to that. It, it's, I mean, this it has everything out here, and, and that's the beauty of the taste of the North Side. So. It, it really is. Um, you you look at Wemby with the season now over. The off season is going to be very interesting when it comes to the Spurs and what they are going to do now. I want the Spurs to be a little bit more than strategically aggressive, which was the term Brian Wright was quoted as using in an Express News article yesterday Uh by Mike Finger. Right. Now, and I say that, I expect the Spurs to do Spurs things, which is not go overpay or make a trade just because he was the first all-star that was available. I do expect a lot of roster turnover, and I expect Wemby to – quite frankly, be involved, maybe not call the shots, but certainly be involved. And that's what I thought was interesting. Uh, listening to, and I haven't heard the entire podcast, just just parts of it, little, little snippets, but Wemby sat down and did an hour-long interview with Kevin O'Connor of The Ringer for a podcast that dropped today. And when you think about his relationship with Pop, he was asked about playing for pop and if he thought it would be different i say easier because i i would think he i mean before meeting him i would have thought he was like more of an <laughs> <asshole. You know? laughs> no, he's, like, he's actually very um very fair you know and uh i mean what we hear from of popovich you know growing up it's like a, yeah like crazy coach and uh you know i mean super super great coach of course but and he was he's actually pretty fair you know not there's, there's some unfair coaches but he's fair he's fair i i believe that i mean he's fair he, he treats everybody i mean you remember we used to yell at tim duncan well and, and, I mean, and I, well treats and, and everybody again, the same if uh well 
Uh, yeah, see, he, he's hard on the star players. But if you're Wemby, growing up wanting to be a spur, dreaming of being a spur, that's your team in France because of Tony Parker. And you think about Pop and a very young Tony Parker, a-hole comes to mind. Oh, my God. And I'm sure Tony has told Wemby stories about, man, my rookie year, this is what it was like. Be ready. Be ready. Well, if you watch TV, you you knew it. I mean, he, Pop wasn't afraid to do it with the cameras on. Oh, but, but that, and so if you're Wemby expecting that and looking forward to that, and then you get a guy that's fair. I, 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 I thought that was uh, pretty pretty fascinating. Well, look, I mean, let's face it. Pop has calmed down a little bit. He's not the same Pop that he was just, what, 10 years ago. So he's a, he's a more grandfatherly Pop now, taking selfies with Jeremy Sohan. And, yeah. you know, I mean, so he's he, the softer, gentler Greg Popovich has come out. And so uh, Wimby's not getting the full-fledged. Uh, in his prime, Greg Popovich tyrant that he was. Well, and, and again, you look at um, just what we've seen this year from from Victor and the different things that he was able to do and what we thought he was going to be. I'd say he exceeded all expectations, and there were extremely high expectations to begin with, uh, but also – during the interview, you know, that that question with uh, J.J. Redick on that pod during the draft where, you know, he, he talks about just being human or or is he because of the alien nickname. Pretty interesting comment here from Victor from uh, the Ringer podcast today. You said in an interview with J.J. Redick last year that you're free in the universe. And uh, J.J. responded saying, I wish I was free in the universe. And you said you are. What did you mean by that? Um, what do I mean by you are? Yeah, the you are. The you are seemed profound to me. You are. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, you know, I'm not, I'm not, a. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't know. I'm just a, just a human, but, uh, <laughs> I'm not, or am I? <laughs> 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 no, I, like, I, I, at the end of the day, I don't know. And, but, uh, it's, I just think, I just think we have, uh, all of us have a lot to accomplish and, uh, I, you know, the goal for me in my life is to to accomplish myself and to yeah to be a complete human being, you know. So it's so yeah, I'm like I'm free to do what I want and what I you know what I need to do. And uh there's nothing that is gonna stop me from doing so. Or is he? Or, I or like am that. I? Yeah, that Alien. that uh, that's uh, and, that's interesting. Well and again, I, I mean you figure this guy is twenty years old. He's twenty. He doesn't seem like a 20 year old uh and he's not wired and again but or am i am i uh, alien yeah there is that kid part of him you know i also saw and pledge tell me if this was in there because i saw this uh more as a meme on the internet but when drake was in san antonio apparently uh drake wanted wemby to come out on stage with him and drake said no or, or wemby said no unless he could bring all his teammates out and and, and so he he didn't appear on stage with Drake at the Drake concert, which also tells you Wemby and how he is with his teammates that he knows his star power, but he wants to make sure everybody is along for the ride. We run as a group or we don't run. I love that. And and he's a great teammate. He, he is. I think you've seen that. He's he's a great teammate. Um, look, this guy, I, I, we haven't even scratched the surface. And, th and that's what's so exciting about being able to watch this guy over the next few years is it, the talent that he has. He's only 20 years old. He's going to get better. He's got his feet wet now in the NBA. He's going to come into next season all that much better than he was this year. And I, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine the things that he's going to be able to do uh, after getting that first taste of the NBA and having some teammates around him uh, that can play defense, number one, at least somewhat uh, decent, and 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 get some shooters around and, and, and a better team. And, and Pledge is telling me that wasn't in the interview, so that was just a great meme. But that wouldn't surprise me if it had happened. So apparently he wasn't invited on Drake and, and turned him down. But one of the <laughs> things that – he did say in the interview, and again, I didn't hear the whole thing, just some clips to this point, so apologize for that, falling for an internet joke, but but it wouldn't surprise me, which is why you go with that. But the way he is wired, he says he's basically immune from distractions. Definitely was it. And uh, as I said before, he's in the last 
four or five years. I've learned a lot about myself um, because I chose to face, you know, the all the tr the, the truths and uh, because uh, I think I do think like my environment growing up was uh, was great for this and my experiences were great for you know developing my personality and my identity really that um, I'm I feel, right now I feel like I'm immune to all the like. I just feel like I'm immune to like the things people try to tell me. Oh, pay attention to this. Or oh, watch out. You know, all the bad things like uh, you know, distractions. Part, part, yeah, distractions. Exactly like partying. Or, you know, like alcohol, drugs, whatever. Like, <laughs> why would why would I ever do that? Well, I, I love that. That's awesome. Um, and and I hope he stays that way. <laughs> <laughs> but he's going to be an NBA superstar, so uh, let, let's hope that he continues to have that attitude as he goes on. That's that's a great attitude. You know, I, I don't see him changing. Uh, there, there's nothing that indicates that he would change. And the reality is he was a superstar before he played in the NBA. Uh, a, a superstar over there in France playing in the league. He knew he was going to be the number one overall pick. Uh, money, the fame, the celebrity doesn't change them. And, and in some ways, it, it's kind of like what you're seeing with Caitlin Clark. You know, she was such a star in college going to the WNBA and doing some of the different things that she is doing. That is not going to, to change her. You'd be stunned if you saw a dramatic change w with with somebody like that. Maybe. And I think Victor was so guarded and protected and in a bubble, if you will, in France, that coming here, keeping that with them, where Caitlin Clark probably has to put up more barriers around her so she's not as accessible to so many people, where Wemby showed up with all those barriers already in place. Well, I think the difference is, and I love this, and I wish the American kids would be more like the Euros, honestly. I mean, they're playing against men at, at 13 and 14 years old. They're taught the game a little bit differently. And, and you're seeing it in the influx. We saw that mock draft yesterday that some, I don't know who had it, but of the first 10 picks, I think five or six were European players. And, and that should tell you all you need to know. That is just, uh, and it, it was, it amazed me. It really amazed me that there are that many European players projected to go in the top 10 of the NBA draft. And, and, um, uh, it's changing. Boy, the NBA, it already has, but it's going to continue to change. Um, and, and I just hope the American player can can keep up. Well, and I think I think it's twofold. One, European basketball has improved dramatically. Oh, no doubt. Right? This is also one of those years where the draft is light, especially with the American college players. So I don't know if this is just – a year that's just kind of odd, or if we're going to see more and more of this where Euros dominate, uh, but you also have some of the better college players, you know, where they're going now, how they're being developed. Uh, European players seem to be coming into the NBA more ready for the NBA game than you're seeing with the college players. The, just the way they're developed, the way they play, playing more team basketball, less about the seven-on-seven. Seven. I go back to that Hurley interview on what he looks for in recruiting, and he doesn't want a guy that's been on several uh, uh, AAU teams and has changed high schools a, a whole bunch of yep. times. He's not looking for the individual player. He's looking for the guy that's more about the team. Well, and, and, and the European player is. Think about this. When Steph Curry, LeBron James retire, Kevin Durant retires. Who's the face of the NBA? Nikola Jokic, uh, the kid from Dallas. They're all European players. Yeah, I mean, you have Anthony Edwards, who is a great representative, right? But, I mean, you look at it, it's going to be more European players than it is going to be American players. And it is just changing in the NBA, and that's just the way it is. And it's because of that experience that they get early on um, that the American players just don't get. Uh, it, it, very, very, very true. And you, I, I mean, it, it's, I don't want to say sad, but you look at a guy like Zion. Zion was supposed to be that guy. 
and in things he really hasn't yet taken that big leap i look at the team usa roster and man that looks like an incredible team and that would have been an incredible team 10 years ago. Yeah. You know, and this would be the last run for that group. I mean, I can't imagine many that are playing on this Olympic team that will play this summer over there in France are going to be on the team again four years from now. That's how old this roster is that Grant Hill has put together along with Steve Kerr. Yeah, it is. And, and again, when those guys go off and ride off into the sunset, uh, this is going to be a European-dominated league. It just is, and it's it's been trending that way for a while now. And and Greg Popovich, to his credit, and R.C. Buford and the Spurs organization were the first to really dip into that European market, uh, and everybody else followed suit. And and it is changing. It's changing quickly too. Well, it really it, is. You you look at the Spurs, who have always had a lot of foreign players on the team. Obviously, we've got Wemby. The uh, mock draft has. Uh, one that we were reading yesterday from, I think it was Bleacher Report, Topic, uh, an, another foreign player is the uh, pick that the Spurs would take at, what, five? Yeah. Um, point guard, 6'6 six, six guy, looks the part, sure. Um, and, you know, other French players that, you know, Wemby might want to play with that he is familiar with because you figure he is going to have some input. I don't know that he'll call shots and dictate, but I do think Wemby will have input. He talked about that some today on that, that uh, podcast that dropped from the ringer. We'll let you know his thoughts on uh, the Spurs offseason plans and what his involvement will be as we continue here on the Blitz live at Taste of the North Side at the Security Service Event Center. I believe some tickets are still available, not many. So if you want to get out here, gates open in an hour and a half. Go online, buy those tickets, promo code STAR, and you could save $25 a ticket. And, of course, you come to a great event, a Fiesta event. You plan on having a good time. You don't plan on getting arrested. But it's Fiesta time at San Antonio. People get arrested every day for all kinds of reasons. If you get arrested, you want to get out of jail fast, you know the best way to do that is by calling my good friend Albert and his great staff at AA Best Bail Bonds, 210-225-2121. Text BAIL to 474747, or you can start the bonding process online at MyBestBailBonds.com. You don't have to call attorneys or anybody else to get out of jail, and you don't want to be forced into a PR bond. If the jail offers you a PR bond, make sure you truly understand what all those conditions are before accepting it. Your best option for stress-free bail bonds is AA Best Bail Bonds because nobody beats their price. They offer payment plans, have a free shuttle service. They are discreet and confidential and open 24-7 with offices all over San Antonio and Texas, services nationwide. If you're up in Dallas, down in Corpus, license number 149, call AA Best Bail Bonds, 210-225-2121, or go online, mybestbailbonds.com. It's the Morning Huddle with Rob and RJ. Friday on the Morning Huddle, we're looking ahead to tonight's play-in games. The final two playoff spots are going to be taken. Plus, the NHL playoffs start this weekend. There's a lot going on. We're going to get into it, so make sure you meet us at 6 a.m. The Morning Huddle gets going. We'll see you there. It's the Morning Huddle with Rob and RJ. Morning 6 to 10 on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Texting privacy policy and terms and conditions posted at textplan.us. Texting rules for occurring automated text marketing messages. Message and data rates may apply. Reply stop, opt out. Minimum purchase required. Interest accrues from date of purchase, but is waived if paid within promotional period. Go to windowappointmentnow.com for full offer details. Attention homeowners. Do you know when to replace your windows? Feeling too hot or cold? Fog between the glass. Spending too much on expensive energy that literally goes out the window? It's time to replace. And right now, you can get a free in-home window consultation and free price quote from Renewal by Anderson. Plus, with our spring savings event, you can buy one window or door and get one 40% off when you buy four or more units. Just text FIX to 200-300 for your free consultation on top quality affordable windows or patio doors for no dollars down, no monthly payments and no interest for a year. That's right, you don't pay a dime for an entire year. Text FIX to 200-300 to buy one window or door and get one 40% off. And right now, save an extra $30 off every unit. Hurry, this incredible offer is only in April. Text FIX to 200-300. Text the word FIX to 200-300. FIX to 200-300. In business, service is everything. Cintas delivers what you need to better serve your customers. 
Whether it's freshly laundered work apparel for almost any job imaginable, protection systems, first aid and safety supplies, on-site AED training, or mops and restroom products, stocked and ready when you need them. Better work days happen together. So visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the work day. Did you know that feeling sluggish or weighed down could be a sign that your digestive system isn't working at its best? Taking Metamucil every day can help. Metamucil fiber powders help promote your daily digestive health using a plant-based fiber called psyllium. The gelling action of this special fiber traps and removes waste so you can feel lighter and more energetic. Metamucil, promoting digestive health for a better you. Learn more at metamucil.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Hey, poker players, the big blind is open. With a true Vegas feel, the big blind is the premier poker room in San Antonio, featuring an upscale environment catering to players from all abilities. Whether you are seeking high octane tournaments or lively cash games, the Big Blind has a game for everyone. The Big Blind at 281 in Redland Road, just down from the Roo Pub, offers daily cash games to daily, weekly, and monthly tournaments. Learn more online at thebigblindsa.com. The Big Blind at 281 in Redland Road. Folks, quality is a huge deal. It's what I look for when I recommend something to my listeners. It means you can depend on it. Quality means it won't let you down. It's something you can be proud of. Well, that's the definition of a Kinetico water softener. With other water softener brands, you just never know. Maybe they work half the time or they're just plain junk. A Kinetico water softener is up to 80% more efficient than competing models and will be the last water softener you'll ever own. That's because you're buying quality, and it's backed up with an outstanding 10-year warranty, too. If you're ready to enjoy all the benefits that come with quality, bring home a Kinetico water softener. Call the team at Kinetico at 656-PURE or online at KineticoSA.com. That's 656-P-U-R-E or KineticoSA.com. And tell them, Dave Ramsey sent you. The last water softener you'll ever own. Call 656-PURE, Kinetico. Listen to 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star on your Amazon or Google smart speaker and just say, Alexa, play 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Ryan Eagle. I'm Jason Menix. Live at Taste of the North Side. Doors open a little less than 90 minutes from now at 6 o'clock here at the Security Service Event Center. Dude, is that an ice sculptor? That is. Well, that, you know, to our right, where we're sitting inside the main room here, is Eddie B's Prime Seafood. Yeah. And they have brought out, and now the guy didn't sculpt it here. That would have been cool to watch a guy sculpt this. But it is a, I, I'm, a I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be a seafood tower on steroids. Being Eddie's Seafood, Eddie B's, I, I would expect they, they will have some, I don't know, shrimp or something that's that's going to be on there, right? What, well, what are you guys going to set yeah. up over there? Redfish and shrimp over here. Redfish. Wow. Oh, right. sweet. Right. Now, hey, Greg, is the, is, is the microphone working over there? Can uh, you talk to us? Yeah, c- c- come, come over here. here a second. All right. Uh, because you were saying that like it was, you know, the, one of these fancy restaurant places. Can you uh, hear us? M- Miguel, yeah. I, I'm assuming you're Miguel because that's what it says on your shirt uh, from, from Eddie B. So, yes, oh, the top of the sculpture just showed up. They're, they're putting it together now with Eddie B, the logo, right in the ice. This is cool stuff. All right, so what are you going to have here tonight? Uh, we're going to be offering redfish and shrimp ceviche on a blue corn tortilla chip. And then we're also going to have freshly shucked oysters, East Coast oysters, uh, with a little champagne mignette. Oh, nice. See, I like the way this guy's like, we're going to have this. Well, that's why I wanted him to say it, not me. I mean, it right? just makes you sound extremely appetizing. Well, that's why he's a chef. I know. That's why I right? love the way you said that. I mean, do they teach that at chef school? A little bit. A little bit, bit really? Yeah. A little bit, because it really is all about the presentation. <laughs> you have And to. you have yep. to pronounce Nowadays. stuff the right way. Exactly. Right? If now, not you, uh, it's uh, not uh, like an, uh, 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 and, and, and this is taste of the, the north side. You know, and granted, oyster bake is fantastic, but. You know, you might lose a, a finger or cut your hand trying to shuck oysters. These are already shucked oysters that you're going to hand out. People don't have to work for nope, them. They don't right? have to work for that, them. That's, that's the beauty. What's the difference in East Coast oyster versus, say, something you get in the Gulf here? Well, one's from the East Coast and one's I from get the it, Gulf. But there's a difference. 
uh, yes. So obviously uh, where it's at, but um, they're going to be a lot. In cold waters is going to bring a different, completely different taste in the Gulf oysters. A lot of people don't like the Gulf oysters because they're so big. Um, you have very chewy, very meaty. They prefer a nice, more clean, crisp oyster. Um, so it's just taste, basically. You know. And they're a lot smaller. Of course they're a lot they smaller. are. Yeah. Everything's bigger here in Texas. Well, yeah, well, well that's what it is. <laughs> uh, Miguel, appreciate you stopping by. Appreciate have have Thank fun Thanks, tonight. Miguel. You know, that, that's it. what it's going to be. And you think about you know all the different restaurants that that are here. I, I, I just saw uh, the boys from a uh, Smokey Moe's barbecue oh, wow. going by. And I wonder, see, like, like Eddie B's, it, it's a food tasting thing. It, trying to be nice, but you go to some of these different events and you will see a restaurant and they're serving something that isn't what they're known for. Right. Right. And I realize in some cases it's easier because you're serving thousands of people and it's got to be, you know, whatever. But if you're a steakhouse, I want steak. Not, I don't want to try your bread or your appetizer, <laughs> right? Exactly. I, I, I want your steak. That that you know they're doing seafood. Now I see Smoky Mo's barbecue. I know from a restaurant style they have one of the better Frito pies you can buy. But I would think tonight they're going to be doing brisket. Well, you would think so. Maybe a little sausage. Yeah, could be doing yeah, something barbecue. like barbecue, but, maybe a, a rib or two. But I wouldn't mind if they were doing their Frito pie. Well, I just wonder if Bohannon's is going to do the uh, Wagyu Frito pie. See, it, no it, offense to Smokey Moe's, but I'd but, rather have the Wagyu. Well, see, and that's it. But Bohannon's was kind of what I was alluding to earlier. Oh, the Frito pie was really good, but I'm not going to <laughs> Bohannon's and ordering a Frito pie. Well, if it's Wagyu, you might. At Bohannon's? Yes. No. Dude. I'm getting a Wagyu steak. Well, it also depends on who's really? paying. But yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I started to say, Mr. Big Shot, I'm getting a Wahoo steak. Wahoo. <laughs> it's called Wagyu. Wagyu, sir. yes. And it will make you Wahoo when you Wahoo, see the bill. Yes, But it exactly. is certainly worth it. <laughs> I was at Bohannon's not too long ago and had this uh, – uh, Japanese Wagyu that uh, the guy's like, oh, it's you know, a 45 day dry aged and all this. And uh, I was like, how much is that? And I said, like, I want the other one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how much is that? $500. Uh, yeah, it wasn't quite that, but it, well, it would have been after a couple of drinks. And yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but, you know, it's, it's worth it. If you're going to splurge and you feel like, you know, dropping some coin, it, it's, I mean, it's tasty as hell. Well, well that's right? it. A absolutely. Now, as I look directly across. Uh huh. The San Antonio Spurs really? have a setup. Is Wemby over there? Wemby is not. He's not. No, there's not anybody over there over five foot seven. No, there's not. Uh, there, there's really not. Uh, but I am curious what the Spurs are going to have over there. But it is cool to see uh, the the Spurs here. Uh, I saw uh, walk ons. Uh, they are here seeing walk ons. Probably a little Cajun style. They have a great shrimp po' boy. You know. Nobody wants that. I do. A shrimp poor boy? <laughs> yeah. They're fantastic. I just good love that. shrimp poor boy? Absolutely. All right. All right. Well, that's that's good. Well, that's I, You know, the lobster roll, I didn't really I didn't want to try that either, and it turned out pretty good. Well, yeah, exactly. Exactly. That That's what you're, what you're trying to do. Well, it, and that's the beauty of this thing, right? You can go by and try everything. Yes. And, you know, if you don't like it, you don't like it, but you, you get the opportunity to try it. Now, they're not going to have gizzards here. <laughs> you know, I doubt it. Gizzards. But I wouldn't be opposed. See, and, and, and again, if Miguel was to tell you about a gizzard, he would probably say it in a way that you were like, I want that. Miguel's too fancy for gizzards. Are you kidding? Eddie B selling gizzards? He's too fancy for that. Miguel, Miguel would come up with a way to use gizzards in an incredible way on a blue corn tortilla chip and a blah, 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 blah. Dude, I right? will tell you the way, say yes. the way he described that. We have redfish and oysters. and I mean, it just sounded well, it like fancy. Redfish and shrimp and oysters. Well, you know what I'm saying. I'm just talking about the way yeah. he said it. Redfish. Yeah. Well, I mean. On a blue chip. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it was great. I <laughs> love that. Why do you sound like you have a crush on Miguel no, all of a I just, I, it just made it sound fantastic. Well, it's going to be fantastic. Yes. I mean. I like that presentation part of it, though. I mean, you know, when you're describing um, what he's got, it just sounded fancy. It's going to be one hell of a seafood tower Absolutely. over there. Absolutely. Uh, well, there's is. a band outside, and they look like they're going to get it on. They're rehearsing right now, and the lead singer is just going to town. Yeah. Um, to me, that looks like the E7 band. 
Oh, yeah. Which is a great local party uh, band. Uh, the Yacht Rock. Uh, they are not out of hits. You, you've probably uh, seen them at Picks. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, in a variety of other places. Now, some of these bands have members that, you know, they'll play with this band and that band. Uh, but I did see uh, one of the guys that I know from E7, so I assume uh, that is the case. So uh, you, you'll you'll go you'll go that way. Wow. Um, and, and so, yeah, uh, there's live music outside. Inside, you've got the uh, dueling pianos that are going. So it, it's it's pretty, uh, pretty fantastic when when you look at it and think about all the different things that are happening here and again. Go online. They were close to being sold out when we started the show at 2 o'clock. Don't know how close to being sold out or if they have sold out, but you, you got a little bit more more than an hour. And this event does sell out every oh, it will. year. Yes, it will and sell out. You, you don't want to miss it. Now, and, and I do, I, you, you think about Wemby and the Spurs as <laughs> – I, I'm trying to transition. <laughs> that was good. Yes. Well, I, I'm I, thinking about oysters and <laughs> redfish. <laughs> Not that I'm a redfish guy. You, you have you have developed a crush on Miguel. No, I, I did. Miguel has nothing to do with it. Uh huh. But that seafood tower has everything to do with it. Uh huh. It looks fantastic. It does look fantastic. That's that's the bottom line. That that's what we're trying to do here. So I, yeah, I didn't mean to interrupt your transition. To, yeah, you to, did. To Wimby. Yeah, you did. You're, you're, <laughs> you're such a train wreck. It is ridiculous. Um, in, in all seriousness, though, you look at at the rebuild that's coming. And, you know, we had all the exit interviews this week. Uh-huh. Yeah, and, and I know Pledge, I heard him on Extra Innings uh, saying, man, I don't think much is going to happen based on what I've heard. And I thought, you know, I, I disagree with that. Like all the players that talk, talked as if they're coming back. They're also under contract. I expect massive overhaul to this roster. Uh, I do expect a trade. And if players have to go because of a trade and you're trying to get better, I am fine with that. Let them go. Everybody not named Wemby. And I'd probably say the next one on, on a list, although Wemby is the only untouchable, I would not want to part ways with Trey Young. I think he is going to be a great backup point guard to a starter that they go out and get either through free agency or through trade. Even if they draft a rookie point guard, I don't know if that that guy is going to be the starter on opening night. Well, and I think that's the beauty of having uh, Trey Jones because – Would I say Trey Young? You, I think you might have. Uh, I, but I don't it, want Trey Young. I was going well, to, and I that. don't think that's going to happen. I don't see the Spurs doing any of that blockbuster deal. But where I do agree with you, Jason, is that they they've got to get some pieces in here. That and I think Devin Vassell is going to be difficult to part with just because of his contract. Keldon Johnson's contract's a little more, you know, a, appealing to uh, to other teams. I think I think Devin Vassell would be hard to trade. So, but I, I and and not saying that that's going to happen. But I think if 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 he if you've got a trade piece, I think you're looking at Keldon Johnson. Um, I want to see some veterans in here. I do. I want to see some veterans, and I think Pop will do that. And and the Spurs brain trust, and I think they'll bring some veterans in. Maybe not big name guys, but I think some guys that have some experience uh, and that can really bolster this team right away. Well, and and you know, as far as uh, speeding up the rebuild and expectations for the off season and how Wemby is going to be a part of that. He was asked that very question on that ringer podcast. My expectations are, you know, I mean, I trust the, I trust the, the front office and the, the coaches and uh, it's, uh, but the, the truth is, I don't know. Um, you know, I've learned, I've learned, I've learned a lot this year and that's, we've gotten so much better from day one to, to, 80, uh, 82nd game, but um, I don't know, and I'm sure like the coaches will let me know what are the like the 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 new the new ways the new roads of progression you know we want to take, and but um, I don't know. This is the only team I've ever known. No, yeah, that's uh, well, yeah, it a is a great non-answer. <laughs> it is a great non-answer. Now they're, they're going to do something. They, they have to. Well, and, and they're and, not going to stand pat with this team. And a great question that was asked 
because I keep thinking, you you have said this, there are going to be players in the NBA themselves that might be alpha dogs on their team willing to take a lesser role or a uh, uh, not be the number one option to come play with Wemby. Uh, on the Ringer podcast, Kevin asked Wemby if players have reached out to Wemby to see about playing with him. Yeah, I've received some like some messages, um, even from like prospects, you know. <laughs> but uh, you know, I, I try to stay in my role, and <laughs> you know, uh, but uh, it's yeah, it's it's a whole new world for it's a whole new world, and that I'm eager to discover. But um, for sure, one day or the other, I have to be involved in this, I guess, even yeah. though I'm you know staying my role as a player. No, and yeah, and, and I can see players reach out. When you saw Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce just like gushing over Wimby the other day uh, on their podcast, there are other, all the other players are saying the same thing. And you know, people can talk all they want about San Antonio. There's no nightlife. There's no this. There's no, people are going. To, players are going to want to come here and play with this young man because, believe it or not. Money's important, but you know what? Those banners, those championships, those rings are important as well. And they know coming here with a talent like that, you've got a golden opportunity to win a ring. And players are going to want to do that. They did the same thing with Tim Duncan. Players wanted to come play with Tim Duncan. Victor Wimbanyama is going to be the exact same kind of magnet for those players to come here to San Antonio. You know, it, it is interesting because, you know, he is a rookie. He's not from here. I, I, I am curious what kind of relationships he has developed throughout the league. Now, we saw him hanging out a lot with Trey Young during the All-Star break. Watching Atlanta last night, uh, I'm more convinced now that Trey Young is not a Spur. He is not going to be the guy that that the Spurs should go after. He's a, he's a sexy name to throw out right now just because of what we saw at the All-Star break. But I am curious what relationships he has developed in you know how he gets his number like the you know i'll use lebron because it ain't lebron hey Vic, this is lebron <laughs> uh i know it's past your bedtime but can you call me in 10 i i, I don't know i mean you know i i'm just curious how that happens no it, put it, in a good word for me with pop i'm sure i'm sure it is and and because people are amazed with this guy they're going to want to come here and play. And I don't think the Spurs are going to have any um, lack of options when it comes to finding that right guy that, that uh, you know, that, that talk about this, you know, and making sure that he's a Spur and, and all of that kind of stuff. They're not going to have a problem with that. They're going to get some players that are going to have interest in coming here. And that's why I say there's no reason in the world, in my mind, that this rebuild shouldn't hit, I mean, full speed beginning right now. I mean, right now, let's go. You know, the draft lottery's coming up, then the then the draft, and then man, I mean, let's let's get this thing going. There's no reason in the world for me to understand why Spurs would bring this group back as is. I, it's just not going to happen. There's going to be some tweaks and some changes to this roster. And, and again, I expect major over. Like, if half the roster is different next year. I wouldn't be surprised if it got to be 70, 75 percent. I wouldn't be surprised. Now, again, Brian Wright quoted in the paper as saying strategically aggressive. And I like that, uh, uh, you know, from from that standpoint, let's see what they come up with. I don't see them just going to make moves to make moves, but they're all going to have to be over themselves. And we know they all have to fit our, around Wemby now. One of the other things that we've heard a lot of is is a, a player over in France right now that could end up in, obviously, the French connection there. And obviously, Wemby said on the podcast today on The Ringer uh, and, and talked about some of those incoming French prospects. What? Of course. I, I, this is, these are all guys I've known for What's years. What's the report? <laughs> Man, I mean, I, got, I, yeah, I, got, I mean, I, this is all guys I've known for years. Mm -hmm. Played with and against them? Uh yeah, those guys, not too many because they're one year younger than me. But like, you know what? Uh, you know, Ryan Rupert mm -hmm. from Portland mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Tijan Salah. And like all of our sisters were on the national team oh, together. Wow. So I've, I've met him like seven years ago. 
and uh, we just we just hang out together for like a week. And so this is when I met I met those guys, but and uh, Alex Sar, I met him like four days actually. He was my teammate as well. So yeah, it's I just know I I know a lot about these guys, and I'm I'm just so confident for them. Uh, uh, or tornado warning. It did sound like that, didn't it? It, it did. Wow. It did. All right. Nice. So we just play music when we go off, huh? Well, I mean, it's that what happened? I, 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 it's something. I mean, you know, it, it, there's so much going on here. And, and I, I, I mean, it's hardwired Internet. We shouldn't be having these problems at this point, especially uh, in, in a place like this. But sometimes the gremlins get you. And, and look, I think about Taste of the North Side. If this is the only problem they have today, that's a good day. Bad for us, good for them. Uh, but we appreciate you guys listening and sticking through when when the gremlins hit. We no, should make absolutely. it a drinking game today. Although, <laughs> thank God we have it. Boy, it's a good thing. We'd be uh, hammered about right now. Yeah, give uh, us a couple hours. Yeah. <laughs> give us a couple hours. No, I'll tell and, you what. And it, we will certainly uh, figure something out. It's starting to come together. Have you noticed that? Yep. It has started coming. When we first got in here, uh, it, it looked like a, a wreck. And now everything's coming together. It's Man, they're so good at putting this stuff together and getting ready. Absolutely. More from Wemby. We'll talk about the play-in and the Cowboys as we continue here about an hour away from Taste of the North Side kicking off. And, you know, it's interesting. I've been doing Invisalign now for nine weeks. I'm, I'm week nine of 21, and I am really good at making sure my trays stay in. Uh, tonight, uh, you know, I got the container. They're out because it's a grazing kind of night. You have to take them out when you eat, um, which has really helped me lose a lot of weight. A, a, a side product of getting Invisalign uh, over at Smile Structure, Dentistry, and Braces. Tonight, though, uh, it's going to be a good night. Now, think about Invisalign and going through the process. And for years, you go to the dentist, hey, you want Invisalign. And finally, I decided I was going to do it. If you've been thinking about it, call Dr. Smith or go see him there at Smile Structure Dentistry Embraces. Don't put it off. Get it done. It's not bad. And I'm almost done with the entire process. And it's amazing how quickly you notice the difference. And I realize, you know, going to the dentist, that's not high on anybody's list. But, guys, you need to go. You need to get it done. Take care of that maintenance. Don't just go see a dentist when you're in pain. Although, if it's an emergency situation, Dr. Smith and his staff will get you taken care of. At Smile Structure, they handle every aspect of your dentistry needs. General dentistry to oral surgery, cleaning, whitening, crowns, fillings, dental implants, wisdom teeth extraction, obviously emergency situations. Medicaid, all PPO insurance is accepted, and they offer a dental savings plan if you don't have dental insurance. They're better known and operated. They even offer discounts to uninsured veterans. Right now, get a free exam and x-rays when you mention 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. If you've been putting off going to the dentist, Make that appointment now. They have five area locations here in San Antonio. The website, smilestructure.com, smilestructure.com. Riding I-10 with a blitz. Afternoons 2 to 6, KTFM, Floresville, and everywhere at sasportstar.com. Hey, it's Rob Thompson here for Prize Picks. It's America's number one sports fantasy act. Three million players. Yes, I'm a member. You should be too. Download it now and remember the code Alamo, and you can get a deposit match of up to $100. Basketball is balling, baby. Football is coming. Baseball is swinging. It is time to go to Prize Picks because you put your fantasy knowledge into action. You know more. You know you're less. You know who's better or not. You know what's going on. You're a fantasy player. Put that knowledge to work. I have, along with so many others. And right now, remember the code Alamo, and you can get $100 
dollar deposit match right now. Go download Prize Picks. We love watching Connor McDavid, Jude Bellingham, LeBron James. They are playing Go More or Less. It's so easy to do, and now's the time to go. You know when it's more, you know when it's less, and when you pair them together, you can win big, big bucks up to a hundred times your money. More, less, Prize Picks, Alamo. Go there. What's the room again? Uh, 1240, down at the end. Ooh, what's that? I'm food. Here we are. Do you have the key? You have both of ours. Oh, right. Not working. Rub it. Come on. Try flipping it over. Seriously. Why can't we go inside? I'm tired. Give me yours. You have mine. All right. What's Please, if you that? could. Why aren't you opening the door? Can everyone just shut the. Don't go there. Go on a real vacation. Go RVing. Learn more at GoRVing.com. I want to learn how to cook, but I keep ordering takeout. Accomplishing goals is hard, but when your goal is to learn a new language, Babbel makes it easy. In just 15 minutes a day, Babbel will help you start having conversations in as little as three weeks. Words and phrases you'll actually use. So when someone asks, how's your French going? You can say, Babbel facilite grandement l'apprentissage d'une nouvelle langue. Now try Babbel for free at Babbel.com. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Babbel.com. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, offering professional grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, clickgranger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. The good folks at Wendy's have a revolutionary new product for you. Introducing the new Orange Dreamsicle Frosty. It's like a time machine that takes you all the way back to now, the year 2024. It's the classic creamy, orangey flavor you remember. Dare I say, it's new timey. It's the flavor you grew up with, just all grown up. Head over to your local Wendy's establishment and get yours while supplies last. The new Orange Dreamsicle Frosty. Here for the now, for now. Limited time only at participating Wendy's. Cowboys are on. 94-1. San Antonio Sports Star. San Antonio's Sports Center. You got to do Sports Center at this oh. point. You understand how that works, Sports right? Center now? Well, I mean, you're talking with John over at Post Retro and well, let's trying talk to figure about- out steak and lobster, which well, is a lot better than talking about the basketball that we had last night. The Blitz continues at Taste of the North Side. That was next. good. I'm a pro. Ah. Joe Reinagle. That's the third time in seven seasons. The San Antonio Spurs are the NBA champions. Jason Minutes. They go back to big day as Super Bowl champions. Dallas 52, Buffalo 17. It's the Blitz on 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94-1 at San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Ryan Eagle. I'm Jason Lennox. Live at Taste of the North Side. Opens in about an hour from right now. That may have been the best sports center of the day. Well, yeah. Uh, of course it was. Wow. Yeah. Way to pick that up. I was just, you know, we're entertaining the folks. Well, what do you mean you're entertaining the folks? <laughs> I mean, we were taking a picture with John from a restaurant called Post Retro. Yeah. Now, I got to admit, I have not heard of Post Retro, but it says on his card, specializes in creative catering, every person moment, blah, 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 one of a kind experiences, catering for large parties, weddings, intimate dinners, cooking lessons, consulting, meal planning, and customized menus. Well, that's kind of cool. Well, and and that's, you know, I I, I say this in... you know, as the guy from Scoozies is walking by. Yeah. Love that place and the shrimp Scoozie. There are restaurants that we've all heard of. You know, Scoozies, Eddie B's, BJ's is here. And, you know, there's an expectation. But also, you, you run into places like Post Retro. Yes. Haven't heard of them. I'll sample it. Pictures I'll, look I'll, great. I'll try it. The pictures look fantastic. Yes. And so that's one of the other beauties of an event like this. You might discover some new favorites you know uh, some of the alcohol they they you know the tequila that they're setting up uh did you you see that green cooler yeah i saw them dump about 10 bottles of tequila in that thing yeah 
That's going to be a, a must try. Well, absolutely. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, now, Joe, you're not a frat boy. You can't go over to the cooler and just squat down and start just opening it up in exactly. your mouth. Like, you Say know, when. you know, like you did at a, at, at a frat party. <laughs> you know, that, that's not what, what you need to do. But but I get it. But that's one of the cool things about an event like this. Now, you see that guy back there, and we're talking about the green cooler, and I know you can't see on the radio. Yeah, that's good. But the guy that mixed that t- he he's taste testing that thing. Well, of course. I mean, I that that's the job I want. Well, well no, it's not quite right yet. Add a little more of this and that, and then try it again. Well, it, it, it is called quality control, is of it course. not? Of course. You ever had a bartender make you a drink and then take a straw and it just make sure oh, it's yeah, good enough? Sure. Yeah, do that 88 times a day. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty good deal. I think it's a great it's deal. It's a fantastic deal. Yes. Man, I tell you what, it, it's, it's uh, rocking in here. Getting close. Everybody's getting ready. Outside. there, And, again, I just walked outside during the uh, commercial break. E7 band, they're they're getting things together. Uh, they'll be outside dueling pianos inside. But even the restaurants that are outside and, and those that are cooking looks fantastic. It, it's starting to smell pretty good in here, too. I'll be honest with you. As you can smell the uh, the food. Oh, I'm, I'm glad getting you, out. I, I, I'm, I'm glad you clarified and no, Greg Shelton, it had nothing to do with you. Yeah, I'm quite certain it's not you. No, in fact, Greg Shelton actually had to sweat today. <laughs> he was working his <laughs> ass off here or earlier today yeah. at Taste of the Northside, getting everything set up. We've uh, had some gremlins for sure. Yeah, we have. It, it, it's been a day. It, it, it's been a day. But honestly, uh, uh, you go through it and it sucks, but it's kind of fun when you look back on it because you're able to pull it off and make it work. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sure. Absolutely. 16 years of doing this show. One time on a live broadcast where things so bad couldn't get right that we had to haul ass back to the radio station. One well, time. I'm happy One time. that didn't happen today. I, 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 well, and it was close. It, although we wouldn't have gone to the station, we would have gone to the house because it's a lot closer to get back here here yeah, for, yeah. for a taste of the north side. <laughs> you know, our pledge was going to have a five-hour version of Extra Annex, <laughs> which obviously we can't do. So you kind of go that route and just make it work all the way through. You know, as you think about uh, this morning, and I've had a long day because I was uh, in for Rob this morning on the morning huddle with RJ Ochoa. And I love RJ. He is a very dear friend of mine. And I appreciate all the work that he has done and growing what he has grown his his career into now working at Blogging the Boys. But RJ has become, and I told him this today on the air, so disgusted with what <laughs> the Cowboys have not done this offseason that he is at the point now, no matter what they do, it is wrong. And and I told this to RJ. I'm not talking behind his back. You can listen to this morning's show that was, you know, uh, (laughs) error-free, technical-wise. Error-free. Gremlin-free this morning. And, you know, I I, I, I look at it. I said, RJ, you're just so mad at everything that he does that if you went to dinner with him, you would get mad at the way he was chewing. No, talking about Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones. Yeah. You know, Jerry, you're chewing too loud. Uh-huh. Uh, Jerry, you're, I, I mean, I don't like the way you breathe. Uh, it, it, they're at that point. And RJ's not alone. I mean, the frustration level amongst Cowboy fans is at a level that I, I, I don't recall seeing. Yeah. Um, at least not since Tony Romo became the quarterback. There were some years in there. With, with a variety of quarterbacks that, you know, you're going 5'11", and you know you're going 5'11", yet you're still thinking Super Bowl. Nobody's talking that way. <laughs> and the Cowboys have apparently lost all trust amongst their fan base that some of the guys that they think are ready to go just aren't because we haven't seen them. And it's not just fans like you and me and you driving around right now and you sitting in your cubicle – a guy that played for the Cowboys and Marcus Spears is at a level of frustration almost to that of one R.J. Ochoa. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not okay. I'm not okay because everybody else does it. Like, I, first of all, Stephen Jones is my guy. When I see Stephen, we talk 
He knows how frustrated I am when it comes to the moves that they make and how they stand pat. We've known for two and a half years now that you're going to have to re-sign Micah Parsons and C.D. Lamb. But only having them two in Dak is not going to win you a damn Super Bowl. And that is what we're talking about in context. And the problem is, because it makes sense to have to sign both of those guys, they're going to command a lot of money when they're up for their contracts. Everybody knows that. But the bottom line is, everybody that's winning Super Bowl, fix is the city figures out a way to pay their guy. Chris Jones just got a hundred and something million dollars. Pat Mahomes got five hundred million. Travis Kelsey signed a contract. They signed offensive linemen to high dollar, um, high dollar contracts. We see the Philadelphia Eagles do it every damn offseason. So as much as we focus on the Cowboys and we get mad about them standing pat, you should be pissed off more as a Dallas Cowboy fan. The fact that other people can figure out and manage ways to do this and get to championships or NFC championships with signing their own players and also bringing in free agents. I've been singing this song for three years now. Has the roster been good? Yes, it's been solid. This may be the worst one since we've been talking about Dallas having a chance to win a damn Super Bowl. Everybody else can do it. And it seems when it comes to the Dallas Cowboys, it's always something we're trying to get people in that's going to take you over the hump. Uh, it, Powerful. Uh, he's right, but look, he's not the only one. You remember two years ago at the Super Bowl, Emmitt Smith yep. pissed off at, at what was happening with the, with the Cowboys or, or not happening. And, and look, I think Jerry Jones assembled a pretty good roster. And I don't think he should be criticized for the team that he put on the field last year. Now, they had some unfortunate things happen with Trayvon Diggs. Leighton Vander Esch, you know, but, but those things are out of your control. That particular roster was pretty damn good and had an opportunity to really make some noise and make Cowboy fans happy, and then you had the debacle in the playoffs. Well, and I think back Emmett's frustration when he, he was on with us a couple of years ago was that they failed in the playoffs again. Yeah. Marcus Spears' frustration is the roster construction. This roster is not better right now than the one – that lost to Green Bay. Not even close. And the draft will not change that. No, it won't. You will go in the next season with a roster that is not as good as the one that, that just happened. That doesn't mean it can't actually end up being better, but on paper, the talent you have is not as good, and the Cowboys seem fine with it. The other thing that is frustrating is Dak's deal's not done. CD's deal isn't done. Micah Parsons, while it's still early, you know you have these deals that you want to get done, and it doesn't even appear that you're trying to get them done. Now, to be fair to the Dallas Cowboys, there are you know, a lot of conversations right now about a lot of players. Justin Jefferson. Well, Minnesota's not getting criticized for not having that d- deal done yet. Trevor Lawrence's deal is up. Um, Tua's deal, at least it seems like they are talking. Everybody approaches the deadlines in a different way. And the answer of why you do it this way versus that way, I don't know what the right answer is. But the Cowboys are the only ones that seem to get hammered for waiting. Yet we're going to talk about all these contracts that still need to get done. But the Cowboys are the only ones that just get flat hammered for waiting so long. It's not just that. I mean, Jason, free agency, they were just asleep did nothing in free agency to try and improve this team. Nothing. And, you know, whether you're okay with that or not, it's it's uh, it, it just it's wrong. You bring in one guy, one guy that you need, a linebacker, is going to help you. But, I mean, you let a Derrick Henry walk. You, you let some other guys. Don't that, forget about Royce Freeman. They added that second dude, running back. Please, stop it. <laughs> yeah, Royce Freeman. I'm just saying, I mean, if, if they would have gone out and just signed – and, I, and I'll use Derrick Henry for lack of, of, of anybody else. I mean, that gets fans off your back. That at least shows them, look, we've addressed that position, a position that has been lacking. To, to go out and, and do something like that, and as it turns out, it wouldn't have broken the bank. Well, I mean, my goodness. No, but, but again, though, do you want an owner or a general manager making moves so fans are off their back? No, I want him making ones to help them win, and Derrick Henry would have helped them win. He, he would have, but or any running back. But part of me says, 
And we know the Cowboys listen and hear everything. They know they are getting beat up, but they are sticking with their plan and not bowing to any kind of peer pressure or media pressure because when you listen to them, and all you can do is go with like what Steven said this week, they are comfortable and confident with the guys that they have in the building that while we haven't seen them play yet, that they're going to be ready to step up, take over those roles and be fine. The, whether they, we'll find out if, if they're accurate. And I think it's awful. Um, uh, uh, whatever the word is I'm, I'm looking for uh, to think that all these young players are all going to mature at the same time and be good. Some of them might be, not all of them will be. I mean, they knew and we had that draft audio that we replayed again earlier this week. They were counting on Mozzie Smith to be an immediate impact yes, player. They were. Mike McCarthy said right before they drafted him, he immediately makes our run defense better. They were wrong. They were wrong. Dead wrong. And uh, look, I hope the young guys work out. They they need a chance. Some of those guys have been waiting their turn. Uh, it's And they seem content that Brock Hoffman's going to be okay. We did see him a little bit last year, and, and he played well. That's that's what happens. The guys that you never heard of step up, and all of a sudden they're, they're household names. But I, I just think there's so many holes that they have to fill. To, to your point, to expect all of those young guys to be – Household names after this year is is kind of a far fetched thing to 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 try and, and and accomplish, and I think free agency, although that's a crapshoot as well in many cases, at least you know that these guys are veteran players. They know how to win, and uh, you, you need to get some of those guys in here. Hey, we've got a four pack of tickets to go see the San Antonio Missions Tuesday night out at Wolf Stadium as they take on. The Wichita Wind Surge, the ARP $2 Tuesday presented by San Antonio Sports Star. You want to win a family four-pack of tickets to go see the missions out at the Wolf on a Tuesday night? Be caller number nine right now, 210-656-ESPN, 656-3776. You know, as we're out here at Taste of the North Side, getting ready for this great event, which doors open at 6 o'clock, so in 45 minutes from right now, all the different groups, all the different restaurants with their logo T-shirts. And you think about Fiesta, if you need T-shirts screen printed, call Sammy over at Sammy's Embroidery and Printing down on San Pedro. All these restaurants, the chef uniform, Sam does all that. In fact, has over 700 uniform lines to choose from all kinds of industries, including restaurants, medical schools, construction, leagues, and so much more. You need your logo on a nice golf shirt, a fishing shirt. Go see Sam. Need your logo on a hat. Sam has over 25,000 hats and more than 75 color combinations on display in his showroom, including the popular Richardson 112 style trucker caps. Sammy's Embroidery and Printing. Nobody has better prices. Sammy has all the big name brands, and he's the only company in Texas that offers one day turnaround. No order too small, certainly no order too big. Call 210 824 3900. 824 3900. Or better yet, go by that massive showroom on San Pedro, a mile inside Loop 410, next to Big Lots across from McDonald's, or check the website, samsembroidery.com, for Sammy's Embroidery Club. It's the 2024 NFL Draft on 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star. We're the 24th pick. The Dallas Cowboys select. April 25th, 26th, and 27th. Join 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star for this year's NFL Draft. Live from Detroit. I love the tenacity and the aggression with which he plays. He is a mauler. Who do the Cowboys and Texans pick? Does Jerry make a splash? Who goes number one? And who's the next Mr. Irrelevant? The Houston Texans select C.J. Stroud. Uh, I don't ever want to pass on the guy you ought to be taking, David. but still be position slip. I thought Sauce Gardner would be the first corner, but you go back to 2019, and that version of Derek Stingley is as good as anybody in this entire draft class. Find out right here on your exclusive home for the NFL Draft. 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. The John Clay Wolf Show. Here's what's going on in the Wolf Pack. We used to uh, fight chickens in Oklahoma until they what? got busted up by the cops. Grown people fighting chickens? Yeah. <laughs> you don't fight the chickens yourself. You let the chickens fight each other. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. 
I was going to say, that. it's kind of <laughs> off balance a I'm... little bit. <laughs> the John Clay Wolf Show. Catch the John Clay Wolf Show Saturdays from 9 a.m. to noon right here on San Antonio Sports Star. Have you gotten your hands on Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds at HEB yet? Southern Recipe Small Batch offers big, bold flavors like hot honey, spicy dill, and sea salt and cracked black pepper. Bonus, you're going to love the low-carb, high-protein crunch. Turn snack time from ordinary to extraordinary with flavorful pork rinds. Pick up your Small Batch Pork Rinds at HEB today. Dave Ramsey here. The only water softener I recommend is a quality water softener from Connecticut. It really is the last water softener you'll ever own. ConnecticutSA.com And tell them Dave Ramsey sent you. Is switching your wireless service to Total by Verizon easy? Totalmente. And you get unlimited 5G data? $25 a line for four lines on the unlimited plan? At an amazing price? With no contracts. Should you switch to Total by Verizon? Definitely. Uh, I mean, Totalmente. find a store or switch suavemente at totalbyverizon.com. Monthly rate when you activate without a pay, plus taxes and fees. Discount begins the month after you enroll. Additional terms apply. See website for data management practices. Get our Spring Fest doorbusters while you can right now at Lowe's. Shop $5 spring cleaning must haves from Scrub Daddy, Tide Simply, and more. Plus, save over $1,000 on the LG Smart Top Load Laundry Pair. Was $22.98, now $12.96. These limited-time deals are going fast, so shop them in-store and online today. Lowe's No Spring. Lowe's No Savings. Offer valid through 422 Appliances pricing includes all discounts while supplies last. If you're a man and you live in San Antonio or the surrounding areas, you need to pay close attention to what I'm about to say. Are you having issues rising to the occasion? Do you constantly worry about whether or not you can perform? Have you completely stopped having adult time? Is it something you just don't talk about? Guys, we have a solution. Mojo, the 100% guaranteed meal enhancer pill that's fast, effective, and was designed to reignite passion, performance, and confidence in the bedroom. Yeah. Be ready at a moment's notice with the Mojo Mail Enhancement Pill from Pure Line Nutrition. And for those of you who have used Mojo, check out Mojo Enduramax. Touchdown! A new formula that improves the potency and effectiveness of Mojo. Get fast results, last longer, and be the man she'll never forget. Mojo and Mojo Enduramax. 100% natural male enhancement formulas only available at Pure Line Nutrition. Call now, 210-494-2210. That's 210-494-2210. Or visit us online at thepureline.com. No one does happy hour like Twin Peaks with everything from tequila cocktails to extensive bourbon categories that you will not believe. Their top shelf spirit and cocktails served over those icy balls cannot be matched. Twin Peaks has you covered. And don't forget about the 29-degree man-sized drafts. Hi, my name's Jason Thompson. I've lived in San Antonio for more than 50 years. Went to grade school, high school, and graduated from law school right here. San Antonians have trusted me as their attorney after serious injury and fatality collision since 1994. My website is alawyerforus.com. Why a lawyer for us? Well, after several years of practice, I watched as insurance companies created their own law firms solely to defend against auto claims. Today, there are very few insurance companies that do not have their own captive law firm filled with attorneys whose job is to minimize what the insurance company has to pay on an auto claim. If you are a family member is injured in a traffic collision, you will need your own attorney. Just remember a lawyer for us.com. For many lawyers you see on billboards, your case will be handled by a non-lawyer or a staff lawyer. If you call me, Jason Thompson, I will be the the lawyer you speak with. The initial consultation is always free. If you are a family member and needs an experienced attorney, an attorney you can trust, I want you to call me, Jason Thompson. My number is 900-0400. That's 210-900-0400 or a lawyer for us.com. You're listening to The Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Wow. He's Joe Ryan Eagle. I'm Jason Menix, live at Taste of the North Side. We have uh, some shrimp and redfish on a blue tostado chip. Why are you saying it like that? <laughs> you, you can't. You're not Miguel. Is that? <laughs> No, they just brought this over. It looks delicious. It does look delicious. It does. I'm gonna do something. I, I, I. I yeah, you got to do. I got to take my. Uh, yeah, well, I don't want to watch. Invisalign craze out. Hang on. 
And I'm going to eat this. Cause How it, is it, Shelton? Because it, it's it. – Hadn't tried it yet. All right. Well, I haven't either because we just came back on the air. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. I, I think I, we're back. I think we're – Pledge, are we back? Oh, oh we, we never, never left. left. <laughs> uh, Greg Shelton told us that that, that that we had dropped, so we we had no idea. As far as we wow. know, you were just taking your trays out of your mouth. Oh, that, that's wonderful. Well, yeah, the, well, that the beauty of Invisalign. Sure, happy I didn't see that. Mm-hmm. Are you or, trying or, that, or, or. <laughs> dude? That's a big chip, bro. Talk while I eat. Well, I, I don't. That's the beauty of this. That, yeah, the beauty of it. So let me do a little play-by-play here. How is it? It's fantastic. That's what I hear. Yeah, that's what I heard. Uh, well, we thank the folks at uh, Eddie V's for bringing us over a sample of uh, their deliciousness. Some avocado in there as well. Yeah, I can see that. Well, I, I didn't even look. Did you, you not like avocado? No, I love avocado, but it was um, – well, it's a VJ, so well, I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy mine at the next uh, next break. Oh, you don't want to eat live on the air? Well, are you gonna talk? Well, give me a second. <laughs> it was a big chip. Yeah, it sure I'm was. Eat Greg's too Dude, if he doesn't hurry up and eat it. I tell you what, man, I I don't I, that that chip disappeared in a hurry. It was like bam. Well, I gotta admit, I'm starving. Yeah, well, I'm hungry too. I got up this morning at a quarter to five <laughs> to do the morning huddle. Uh huh. And then I had breakfast around 10.05. And that's all I've eaten until just now. Really? Yeah. Because I was, uh, well, I was hungry and then it was time for lunch, but I wasn't hungry because, you know, I made myself a couple of breakfast tacos, uh, you know, at 10 o'clock when I got off the air. And so, you know, I'm sitting here and I'm looking at all this food and I am starving in. They put that in front of me, and I was not waiting. Dude, I, 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 just, I just was not waiting. Holy cow. It is. And I'm not really a, a, a seafood guy all that much. This is delicious. Well, it's the, the redfish and the shrimp. Well, yeah. Um, and, and it is. It's fantastic. And uh, you're not a seafood guy. You uh, you know, it's weird, though. You say you're not a seafood guy, and then you list 17 different kind of fish dishes that you'll eat. Uh, you just don't like a plate served with a fish head with his eyes looking at you. No, I said that I only like fried fish or Long John Silvers. <laughs> Long John Silvers is yeah. not fish. That, that's not really fish. But then again, you prefer boneless wings, so that doesn't surprise me. I don't prefer them, but they're uh, they're not quite as messy as regular <sighs> wings. So if I'm about to do a show or in public... And depending on what I'm doing. Like what? Well, it depends. What are you doing now, sir? I'm eating. Uh That that was delicious, by the way. That was delicious. Thank you to Eddie B's. That was fantastic. Uh, Yeah. You need another chip, huh? I do. Yeah. We need a big plate. Well, see, and, and, and that's, you know, if you're coming out here to taste the north side, if you're dealing with that construction right now, trying to get here, so you're here right at 6 o'clock, this is one of those kind of events where you do want to pace yourself. And, and I say that in a way of, you know, that was so good. I, I'm going back for more. But the next place is going to be so good. And next place is going to be so good. And you don't want to fill up on just one. Go no. try things and then circle back. Yes. Although sometimes you find something, you're like, yeah, I'll need another one and another one. And another. you don't want to be that guy, but you end up being that guy. Well, yeah. And it, it's okay to overeat here. You know, you can eat and overeat and overeat a little more, and uh, it's okay. It's it's in fact, it's encouraged. What is this overeating that you speak of? Well, that's gonna uh, happen. I, I mean, not. Uh, I mean, it's gonna happen. It, well, it's expected, and it is. You're well, of right. course, that's what it, I'm it saying. I, uh, like, I would be curious if somebody could actually eat at every station that is here. I don't I, know. What do you think? There's 50 or 70 restaurants here. I'd like to take that challenge. You're on. I could take that challenge. I, I couldn't. <clears throat> I'm, I'm selective. <laughs> You're selective. I, I'm selective. Yeah, whatever. Well, I, I I mean, to a degree, I'm I'm selective. Well, as long as it's not spicy. Yeah. Right? 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, well yeah, yeah they're, they're spicy, well, but, no, you know, you can't handle li- limited capacity. So I've got to be very careful. Right. You right. know, so you know how that goes. What is skip the beer? Well, let's not get ridiculous. <laughs> 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 the uh, play in tournament will be tomorrow night. Both yeah. games will be here on 94 1 at San Antonio Sports Star. And you think about what we have had to this point uh, with the play-in tournament. They have been fantastic as now we're getting oysters served to us. We sure are. Uh, Joe just they just completely got distracted. Um, it, that we've had to this point. I have really enjoyed the two nights of competitive means something basketball that we've had. Yes. And I wasn't a big fan of the idea of the play-in tournament when they designed it and rolled it out, but that has been a home run in the NBA. Although I did see your boy Vinny Vincetta from Channel 5 tweet last night that he thought it was stupid. He didn't like it. Not at all. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm surprised at Vinny and not surprised at Vinny. You know, Vinny, he's a a good dude. Love Vinny, but but, he's a little different. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've enjoyed it. I, I really have enjoyed it. My only knock on the the play-in tournament is I don't think a team below 500 should be in the playoffs through the play-in tournament. I, I, I do think if I were to tweak the play-in tournament in one way, when you look at 9 and 10 that get into the play-in, if you're not above 500, you shouldn't have it. Now, granted... The NBA has sponsored this. I didn't know that it was the SoFi play-in tournament, but that's what it is. <laughs> so they're not going to do away with that because they got to have the games because of contract. But like this year in the East, Chicago at 39 and 43 and Atlanta at 36 and 46, 10 games under 500, shouldn't get into the playoffs. Uh, they shouldn't have an opportunity at the playoffs. We're in the West. Sacramento is 10 games over 500. Golden State was 10 games over 500 at 9 and 10. You get a chance to go play to be the seventh or the eighth seed. I, I, that would be my only tweak. When you've got a team that's not at 500 and you're in 10th, you probably shouldn't be there. Because when you look at, you know, uh, you know, Golden State is a 46-win team. The top seed, Oklahoma City Thunder, have 57 wins. Uh, they're, they're 11 games out of first. When you look over in the East and you look at Atlanta, they are 28 games out of first. That's not even close to being a playoff team. So I think when you've got com- a competitive Western Conference giving some teams that are good, above 500, an opportunity for the playoffs I like, but a team like Atlanta, uh, a-, a team like Chicago that's 25 games back, they're not a playoff team. They shouldn't have that opportunity. That would be the only thing I would change in the play-in tournament. Well, if necessary, we will have this. Well, who are you going to put back in there? The West? You know, there, there was always that talk about at you know playoffs, just forget about the conferences and put the best 16 teams in the playoffs. I'm all for that. But as long as the Eastern Conference overall sucks – then what are you going to do? Well, I, yeah, you got to fill the deal. and Well, and, you, but you still have one through eight. So I'm good with one through eight. And if a nine and a 10 have played well enough to earn an opportunity to get into the postseason, uh, I, I, I think then you have the play in. If they haven't earned the opportunity, if you're not 500, you don't get to participate. Under that, the rules, they earn the opportunity. Under the rules they have. That's what I said. If and I they've got their ass kicked. I, uh, <laughs> Again, listen, if I were to tweak the play in, that would be the move that I would make is you have to be a 500 team to have a play in tournament. Well, I I disagree with that because I think there's teams that, that have I mean, the NFL has teams with losing records, winning their divisions. For goodness sake. And, and again, it's they've won their division, so they have earned the right. They can't help that they were in a crappy division. So, you know, but they don't have, you know, the uh, other teams in there that have a chance at the postseason. If nobody else in that division makes the postseason, just like you could have three teams or all four teams from a division actually make the postseason, but at least three we've seen uh, recently with the NFC East, three teams from one Make get in because they earn their way in. Well, look, I, but but yeah, tweaking uh, it, yeah. If you're going to tweak it, but under the current rules, sure, these teams 
qualified for the play-in tournament. I got no issue with it at all. If you want to come, and I would love to see the NBA do this, and they, they don't have the stones to do it. But I would love to see the NBA say, look, just the top 16 teams, it doesn't matter if there's 10 from the West, six from the East, doesn't matter. Let's do that. If you and, and that's exactly what you're talking about. So then you've got the top 16 teams that actually have earned that right. I want to see that happen. The play-in tournament, it, it, it's been fun to watch. I don't have an issue with it, but it's as silly as the, the stupid in-season tournament. Well, not really. Uh, it really it's is. not that silly. Look, any of these teams that are playing in the play-in tournament right now are not going to win an NBA championship. It's kind of like that stupid first four than the NCAA get your ass kicked by a number one seed. Yeah. And, and so it's 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 just, to me, it's it's You're hokey. Remember Purdue last year as the one seed getting it's knocked hokey. out? It's hokey. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. All right. J- just check. What happened to that? Did that team go on and win a championship? Uh, they didn't, but no, they, they knocked didn't. off a one seed. Well, that's great. They knocked off a one seed. They've got that certificate right by your 12 and five. So. Here we go. Always <laughs> comes back to the Dallas Cowboys <laughs> with you. I tell you what, watching the uh, play in tournaments last night and my pick em game, it was nice watching uh, uh, my pick em entry turn green at the end of the night, meaning I win a little bit of money. There's two games tomorrow that are going to be very interesting with a couple of injuries to uh, uh, no Zion, uh, no Jimmy Butler tomorrow night. In, in those games, you want to add some excitement to watching those games. And then, of course, when the playoffs get started, make sure you download the Underdog Fantasy app or go to underdogfantasy.com and it gets signed up and play fantasy. Uh, it's a great way to play, a fan favorite way to play fantasy sports. It is fantasy, but legal in Texas and a ton of fun to play uh, and your chance to win money. Easy to get started as well. Download the Underdog Fantasy app or sign up at underdogfantasy.com. And when you sign up, use my promo code STAR, and Underdog will match your first deposit up to $100. So if you deposit $100, you're playing with $200. Plus, Underdog will give you a mystery special pick to use on your first pick of entry. Must be over 18 and present in a state where Underdog Fantasy operates. Terms apply. Concerned with your play? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit ncpgambling.org. Again, promo code STAR. Use that when you sign up at underdogfantasy.com. It's the Morning Huddle with Rob and RJ. Friday on the Morning Huddle, we're looking ahead to tonight's play-in games. The final two playoff spots are going to be taken. Plus, the NHL playoffs start this weekend. There's a lot going on. We're going to get into it, so make sure you meet us at 6 a.m. The Morning Huddle gets going. We'll see you there. It's the Morning Huddle with Rob and RJ. Morning 6 to 10 on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Train heating and cooling systems are tested, retested, engineered, and re-engineered to keep up with you. We run together. Visit traininfo.com to find your local independent train dealer. Traininfo.com. It's hard to stop a train. Looking for the ultimate hangout spot? Swing by 90 Proof Bar and Grill, where the kitchen stays fired up till midnight. Serving up all your game day favorites with daily drink specials. 90 Proof Bar and Grill, corner of Highway 90 and Lucky Ranch. Food, cold drinks, and live sports. Over the past decade, the Roof Hub has proven to be the best place to watch games with those three massive 170 inch screens and TVs all around. All the games, all the UFC fights, and when you show up at the Roof Hub, show up hungry. The food is fantastic. Open daily at 11, great for lunch, great for dinner, great for late at night, and certainly the best place to watch a game. The Roof Hub is next to the Angry Elephant and in the same plaza as the Big Blind there at 281 in Redland Road. We'll see you at the Roof. Hi, I'm attorney Steve Benke. If you've made the decision to divorce, you need an experienced attorney who can help. I've helped many people get through divorce, custody, child support, and alimony problems. Call me. I'm attorney Steve Benke. 210-DIVORCE or go to BenkeLaw.com. I'm still going for it, even with higher stroke risk from atrial fibrillation and a regular heartbeat not caused by a heart valve problem. Over a three-year study, Eliquis Apixaban tablets reduced stroke risk better than warfarin. And over 97% of Eliquis patients did not experience a stroke. A first stroke occurred in 2.9% of warfarin patients versus 2.3% of Eliquis patients. Don't stop taking prescription Eliquis without asking your doctor. It may increase your stroke risk. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve, abnormal bleeding, or antiphospholipid syndrome. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. 
A spinal injection while on Eliquis increases risk of blood clots, which may cause paralysis, the inability to move. Get medical help right away for unexpected bleeding, unusual bruising, or tingling, numbness, or muscle weakness. Medications such as aspirin products, NSAIDs, SSRIs, SNRIs, and blood thinners may increase bleeding risk. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. Learn more at Eliquis.com or call 1-855-ELIQUIS. Heart Royal Flush Tour 2024, May 1st, Frost Bank Center. A journey through the hits and timeless classics. The iconic band returns with special guest Cheap Trick. Tickets on sale now at heart-music.com. Don't miss two Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with Cheap Trick live. Wesley Financial Group is not a law firm. This story is called The Ugly Truth About Timeshare. If you think you've done your family a favor by buying a timeshare, you need my help. Hello, I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group. Ten years ago, I started helping folks cancel their timeshare. In the process, started what's now called the timeshare cancellation industry. The ugly truth is when you buy a timeshare, you can't tell me how much it's going to cost or when it's going to end. I recently helped a couple that had their maintenance fees go from $800 to $3,200 a year. They also received a $4,000 assessment for a hurricane that was over 1,000 miles away. Sound crazy? The crazy thing is, this never ends. Call my office now. If we take you as a client, I guarantee we'll cancel your time share or you'll pay nothing. Call for your free information kit. Call 800-462-3333. That's 800-462-3333. 800-462-3333. It's the final days of Diamonds Direct Spring Sale. This is your last chance to get 20% off store-wide. Plus, book an appointment and you'll get an additional $100 off your purchase. You don't want to miss this. 20% off rings, earrings, pen bracelets and more tons of engagement rings on sale too and a huge selection of the latest styles with in-store designer appearances 20 percent off ends this sunday details at diamondsdirect.com hey it's jim rome and it's great to be back in san antonio join me weekdays at noon on my new home 941 san antonio sports star It is the Blitz here on 94 one <laughs> at San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Ryan Eagle. I'm Jay Simonix. Live at the Security Service Event Center getting ready for my favorite PSD event. Taste of the North Side happening tonight. Doors open technically in 20 minutes, although it feels like uh, people have gotten in early. I, I, I don't so. know. Uh, Katrina Campbell, the boss. Uh, hey, 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 you've, been, you've been running around crazy. I, I just am talking and seeing everybody. I really have, I don't do much anymore. We've got a team that does it all, and um, I just get to take the credit. Yeah, it's well, like the awesome. best situation. That sounds like us. I love that. That's <laughs> great. And hey, we've been watching people work all afternoon, and it's great to sit here and watch them make magic, like Eddie V's over here with that, that ice sculpture. Uh, we got to see that whole thing go up. It's fantastic. Well, the, an event like this takes a lot of people, a lot of time, a lot of coordination. Um, I think we've got 38 restaurants on site and about 50 different wines, spirits, beers. And so we've got something for everybody. Yeah, you certainly do. And it's fun being inside watching when we got here at two. It was like, yeah, this event starts in four hours. And you look at it now, <laughs> it, it is ready to go. And, and I say this all the time, my favorite Fiesta event, the, the place Thank is you. incredible. But more importantly, what you guys do at the Brighton Center, and that's what this, all the money raised goes and helps out the Brighton Center. For people that don't know about what you do at Brighton, tell us about the Brighton Center. Thank you. Yeah, so Taste the Northside is one of our biggest fundraisers. We are a nonprofit, but we're the largest nonprofit serving children with disabilities and delays. So zero to five, if, you're, if you have a, a kiddo with a speech delay, some type of mobility delay, we can help come to your home and support you. We've got inclusive preschools. We have OT, speech, physical therapy. So we just provide a really large array of services to get your kiddo on track to get to school ready. I think that's fantastic. And I love what you guys do. But take us back, if you How did this whole event, I mean, it's a huge event. How did it all get started? So I think this is our 22nd year. It started in a KC Charles salon, I'm told, where we raised about 2,500 bucks the first year. And they threw out some wine and some cheese 
And they were like, this is kind of like a tasting event. And then it just started evolving where we got our local San Antonio restaurants to come out. They come out for free, y'all. Oh, wow. They come out for free. They provide all of the food, all of the staff. Um, and it's not your normal fiesta food. I mean, you're getting some filet mignon. You're getting some really elevated deviled eggs and fried chicken. And um, it, well, it's we've, kind of the best. we've already had some oysters, yep. and some redfish and shrimp. So y'all been hitting it up before it's officially well, well, started. Uh, Are you nice cheating? No, no. I, I mean, uh, uh, people walk by and they put food in front Is of you. Is that okay? You, you know, it's called quality control. <laughs> well, we have to eat I, I, it. We I can't mean, be rude. I, I'm so glad y'all are on it. I'm so glad I, we I have mean, it. We've got it covered. I, I mean, <laughs> now we saw somebody mixing, I don't know, 80 bottles of tequila into something over there making some great drink. How we, many of those have you had already, zero. Jason? Okay. Zero. I don't know. I don't know. Zero. There's a reason our cameras aren't working today. <laughs> yeah, zero. No, I'm, I'm kidding. No, but but yeah, I mean that's that that that's the beauty of it. And, and you know it is. Think about how it has grown uh, from being at Canyon Springs and then Sonterra the year at the Dominion and then getting here. Uh, I've been to this event center now twice. And it's incredible. Thank uh, you. Uh, this is a game changer. It's different. It's more elevated. Um, I think, you know, what, one of the things we love about our event is that it's, it's one ticket and it's done. You're not waiting in line to get in. You're not waiting in line for a beer ticket or a food ticket. You just get to come and enjoy. And now we have on-site parking. So you're welcome. Yeah. Taste of the North Side <laughs> goers. It is the best Fiesta experience you could ask for. I don't think there's any question. The folks at Security Service, I mean, this is the perfect place for this event, isn't Thank it? Thank you. It kind of sounds weird when you say the Security Service Event Center, but yeah. then you get here and you're like, I get it. It's beautiful. Um, it's it's a really great section of town. We've got a great look, um, view. So, I mean, we're just thrilled on how it's turning out. Now, obviously, the food, the entertainment, I see the E7 band getting set up, and we've got dueling pianos inside so the room we're in now from uh, Howl at the Moon. That's always a good time. So fun. And then y'all aren't outside, but we've got an aerial artist who's giving medals to everybody who walks in. So, I mean, I don't know how many Fiesta what events. What is an aerial artist? She hangs upside down and sideways really? and all the ways giving you <laughs> medals. Um, huh. I will send you a picture, Jason, and you will you will wow. appreciate. Uh, it's the strongest women you've ever seen. How do you decide you're going to be an aerial artist? What, what made you trip into saying, you know what? I think I'm going to do this. <laughs> I couldn't tell you, but I bet she would come on your show and give you an interview. I can't wait to see this. Yeah, upside down. It, yeah. It, it, it has to be seen. It, it has, has to be, be seen. <laughs> All right, are, are we officially sold out yet? We are really getting close, but we definitely have a few more tickets. So if you were on the fence about coming, you there's still time. There's still time. Uh, a variety of ways. Go to the Brighton website or tasteofthenorthside.org or brightonsa.org. Promo code STAR, I think, still gets you a $25 saving, so you can do that. Exactly. And get out here. The weather is perfect. Yes. It the is weather perfect. is perfect. We always say God loves Brighton. It always <laughs> works out. It, it looks like rain every time, and then the, the, the clouds part, and it's perfect. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Thank well, you guys. Katrina, I know you're busy. I, I know you're running around crazy. Thank you. Uh, thank you again for allowing us to be out here, as I've said for years. My favorite Fiesta event thank for a you. reason, but more importantly, what it helps you guys do uh, there at the Brighton Center, which is amazing work. Well, thanks for always covering this event and making us feel so special. We appreciate you guys. Awesome. Thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Katrina Campbell from the Brighton Center. And again, they put on this incredible event every every year. And again, a reason you say it is my favorite Fiesta event, and it is unlike so many others and and not that the others aren't great but there are uh i i mean not that i was gonna ask katrina about it but you know like our wives they like the fact that the bathrooms are real bathrooms it's not a porta potty <laughs> you're not standing in line for that e even for the guy i i mean you know and we all know how important that is you know we all have nightmare stories about a nios or oyster bake porta potty and the various things that we have seen at those porta potties, and you wonder who in the hell really does that, and then you see it. Well, yeah, you see it. Yeah, but this this is just so different than anything else. You know, because really, quite frankly, a lot of the, the fiesta events are are all the same, right? I mean, you, you got your your good food, your this, your that. This is different, and that's what I like about it. It's well, just a, it's a different kind of event. Well, I I mean, with any fiesta event, and and the jokes are accurate because uh, sometimes truth hurts and it's funny and all that. If you owe somebody money, you're going to run on that fiesta. You're going to run into <laughs> yeah. your ex. 
at Fiesta. You're going to run into somebody that you only see once a year, and it's always at Fiesta. All right. And, and you're going, oh, man, we need to get together and do lunch or do this or do that. No, I'll see you next year at Fiesta. Uh, exactly. I mean, that's that's how it rolls. Well, it's just a fun time in San Antonio, and this is a great way to get things started. It takes to the north side. You heard Katrina. There's still some tickets left. Come on out with us. And, and that honestly surprises me, although it does feel like it's a week early um, for for this event. But here it is. And also, I think if you were on the fence but looking at the weather, but that's the other part. Like, we're indoors right now. There is a whole section outside. Oh, yeah. Uh, in fact, there's two different sections outside. But if the weather was a little bit wonky, uh, you could come inside. Yeah. But I'm glad it's not because outside is really cool uh, the, the, with the music and everything that's going on out there. This, this is a great event. I'm happy we're here. This is awesome. Well, I'm happy we're here. <laughs> Arts, as opposed to uh, uh, getting here an hour and a half late. Got a text from our wives. Uh, their Uber will be here in, a, in about seven minutes. Outstanding. They know when to get here, yeah. right? When the doors well, open. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. They they uh, well plan uh, well well trained yes. professionals. <laughs> well trained. What? Yeah, I didn't say I quite like that. You know <laughs> what we do every Thursday about this time. Grilling with the Blitz, presented by Tri County Meat Market. We always judge meat. We tell you every week. You know you're doing some grilling. And you wanna. Take photos of what that what you have on your grill. Upload upload those photos to sasportstar.com. The Grilling with the Blitz page. We judge me, and you could win. John has submitted a Korean barbecue, New York strip, short rib. Uh, it's got a scall a scallion pancake on there. Scallion pancake. Uh, that's what it wow. says. Um, ancient Korean secret recipe. Thanks for sharing it. <laughs> yeah thanks a lot absolutely it looks fantastic congratulations john you win yourself a 50 dollar gift card to tri-county meat market you know what else we do on thursdays the blitz wants you to know what's on tap presented by sam's burger joint we we'll let you know what's happening this weekend. Brought to you by Sam's Burger Joint. They are online at, at samsburgerjoint.com where you can go get your tickets, see their entire lineup, and, of course, their menu at samsburgerjoint.com. Now, tonight, they've got a sold-out show at Sam's Burger Joint for Zach Top. Lucas Jack is out there on Friday. Saturday night, a Depeche Mode tribute band called devotional the depeche mode experience uh so get on out to sam's burger joint of course we've got taste of the north side also happening here at the aztec theater at, or at the aztec theater at the security service event center well city morgue is at the aztec theater tonight if you're interested in that andy holloman band is at green hall the majestic theater has nate Bergazzi. i'm going to that tomorrow night are you really? Yeah, my, my wife is a big fan of Nate Bergazzi for some reason. So he must be in town for a couple of days. Couple of and, days. Yep, there he is on Friday. Now at the Boeing Center at Techport, Bad Religion and Social Distortion is playing on Friday night. Sawyer Brown is at Stable Hall at the Pearl. The Gunslingers take on Tucson out at Freeman Coliseum on Friday night. So a little Friday night indoor football. Hot Mulligan. Is at the Aztec Theater. Nate, how do you say it? Bergazzi? Bergazzi. Yeah, he's still out at uh, Majestic. Chris Knight is at Flores Country Store. If you've never seen Chris Knight, go check him out at at Flores Country Store. And, of course, it is Fiesta time. You have the Fiesta Carnival starting at the Alamo Dome on Friday night. Uh, Oyster Bake is uh friday night featuring back in black eclipse the spasmatics kevin fowler and more wow and that's a, what a lineup. passing strangers out at pix bar yeah and then of course on saturday they've got uh gosh 
lots of and that's just a great the oyster bay is just a great event so yeah going yeah, on collective Saturday. soul is out yeah. there as the headliner y'all nice out boy casey donahue uh, a lot happening out there at oyster bake on at saturday night and you got the san antonio brahmas taking on the michigan panthers in the alamo dome saturday night now a couple of things on that brahmas game they have their Fiesta Metal promotion they're doing where you can buy tickets and get the Brahma's Fiesta Metal. Uh, just find the Brahma social channels and you can find links to that. But because of the carnival on Saturday, they're not doing tailgating before the Brahma's ah. game because the, the, the carnival has taken over okay. the parking All lot right. there at, uh, at the Alamo Dome. What's on tap brought to you by Sam's Burger Joint online at samsburgerjoint.com. What a day. It's been a day, my friend. It has been a day. Uh, we've had all kinds of gremlin issues today. want to thank Greg Shelton and his incredible work Absolutely, here today. Yes. Making sure we're on the air. For you guys being patient when things weren't working out, pledge uh, and, and, the, and everything that's happening behind the scenes uh, so we could get that done. But, you know, Extra Innings with Pledge is next. There is a beer with our name oh, on it. Oh, there sure is. I'm off to Florida in the morning. Good night. You're riding with a blitz. Afternoons 2 to 6, KTFM, Floresville, and everywhere at sasportstar.com. Hi, my name's Jason Thompson. I've lived in San Antonio for more than 50 years. Went to grade school, high school, and graduated from law school right here. San Antonians have trusted me as their attorney after serious injury and fatality collision since 1994. My website is a alawyerforus.com. Why a lawyer for us? Well, after several years of practice, I watched as insurance companies created their own law firms solely to defend against auto claims. Today, there are very few insurance companies that do not have their own captive law firm filled with attorneys whose job is to minimize what the insurance company has to pay on an auto claim. If you are a family member is injured in a traffic collision, you will need your own attorney. Just remember a lawyer for us.com. For many lawyers you see on billboards, your case will be handled by a non-lawyer or a staff lawyer. If you call me, Jason Thompson, I will be the lawyer you speak with. The initial consultation is always free. If you are a family member and needs an experienced attorney, an attorney you can trust, I want you to call me, Jason Thompson. My